the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's our boy, Coach Malachi Williams in the building. We back. New Minute Today, USA Boxing, we are back, we are back, we are back. We back up in this BIH, man. We back up in here, man. It is what it is, man. We're going to make it do what it do. Have a good show. Uh, the day Sunday. Uh, you know what I mean? What a day? Uh, October the 9th? October the 9th, man. So we're going to make it do what it do, man. Have a good day. Um, so I saw the fights last night. The fights last night were, you know, they was okay. There was some good fights. Um, I saw, um, of course, I saw the Fundora fight. Uh, Fundora and um, Ocampo. Yeah, Fundora and Ocampo. Um, I picked Fundora to win by 12 round stoppage. Uh, of course I was wrong. We did a poll. I have the poll on my computer screen. A lot of the people who voted, I think 90% of the people who voted thought that, uh, Fundora was going to stop Ocampo and then all of us was wrong. I think only like 9%, uh, as a matter of fact, hold on. Do I still have the poll? Let me see. Do I still have the poll on my, uh, I ain't got the poll no more. I think I put it in the trash. Let me look in the trash and see. I, th I think I deleted. I think I uh, deleted it. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Um, I took a screenshot of the poll we took. I like to do these things, right? Uh, and we did it on the show. I like to do these things because I don't want nobody bobbing and weaving, uh, shucking and jiving, ducking and dodging. Matter of fact, this is it right here. Okay, let me let me get it out of the trash. This is it right here. I found it. Uh, let's go to the desktop. Pull it up. Let's go to the desktop and put it up. Um, yeah, 90 per, nah, you know what? Nah, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, that, that was another poll. That was another poll. But anyway, let's get these super chats out of the way. Shout out to uh, shout out to EG. Hey, okay. Uh, for dropping that quarter of a bam dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super chat received. Playtime is over, boy. Boy. EG, what's happening, man? He said Fendor is a weight bully at 147. He's too big to be down down there, even at 154. Um, a lot of people, you know, a lot, a lot. I hear that a lot of people say he's a weight bully. A lot of people say that he's a weight bully and stuff like that um, because he's so tall. He's what six six, uh, fighting at 154. Uh, the thing is, is this here? I I I saw a lot of holes in Fondora last night. I saw them in the Lubin fight as well. Um, of course, a lot of people are very very high on him. A lot of people are very very high on him, and uh, you know, they think he's the next coming. Over there, 154. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not all the way sold on him yet. I like him, but I'm not all the way sold on him yet. True, true, true. Uh, shout out to Just a Fan. Hey, okay. Dropping that two dollar. Bam! Super chat on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super chat received. Playtime's over, boy. He said, "Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, fam. Good afternoon, man. Thank, thank, thank you so much for stopping by on a Sunday." Go from the bar. There's a platform stage People pimping, pimping Sharp as razor blades Yes, sir, it is what it is, man It is what it is, man It is what it is Um, sitting back, man uh, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you, guy, why, why I'm not Why I'm not I mean, I like him He's a good fighter But I'm gonna tell you Why I'm not all the way sold on him I'm gonna tell you Why I'm not all the way sold on him Um, I think I, I think he run across The right, right guy Uh he gonna he gonna get you know what I mean. He doesn't. Uh, Fandor doesn't really have any good good defense to me, right? He likes to bang, but he likes to bang in the pocket. But he likes to catch punches with his face. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yesterday I did see some things that he was doing good defensively. Um, he does roll with shots sometimes, but often than not, I saw Ocampo catching him with some clean flush shots. Um, and you know, you know what I mean? I, and I just think, I just think that style, that game plan, if he fights the right fighter who has some power, his ass going to be in trouble. Um, that just, that just, that just my opinion on it. Um, and I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down for what I saw. All right. Um, uh, Sebastian Fendor, as you guys know, he wins a 12 round unanimous decision against Ocapo. I also did not agree with the, with the score. I thought the score, I thought the fight was a lot closer than what the scorecards gave him. I thought the score, I thought the fight was a lot closer than that. But that's neither here nor there. He won the fight. Um, will Fendora get a shot at Jam uh, Jamel Charlo? And if they do fight each other, who wins? Uh, Sebastian Fendora, as I said before, guys, he won the 12-round un unanimous decision. Everyone knows that. Fendora did try to mix it up a little bit by boxing, uh, by boxing, 
and fighting on the outside. He tried to box on the outside. He started out like that the first couple of rounds, and then he went right back to what we knew he was going to do. Um, but then, as you know, he went back on the inside and he just went to trading punches and catching. He was catching with the elbows, like like anytime Ocampo threw uh, threw some body shots, he landed some clean, but quite a few of them, um, quite a few of them from door was catching with the elbows. So he was catching, and then he was trying to shoot. Sometimes he'll catch and he'll come back and, and turn that uppercut that he likes to throw. He likes to, he likes to throw that short uppercut on the inside and turn it. He catches and then comes back. Um, sometimes it did look like he was smothering his work. Uh, you get what I'm saying? I did see that he was uh, getting hit with the overhand. He'll get hit with overhand shots, like overhand right or overhand left. Um, Ocampo, Ocampo did pretty good. I'm not going to lie. He did pretty good. He did pretty good. When Fendora did box on the outside, he was getting hit with overhand rights and, and, and lefts from time to time, getting hit with clean shots. Defensively on the inside, Fendora was blocking uh, a lot of shots with his arms and elbows. He was blocking shots with his arms and elbows, but he was getting caught flush. Which you know he was getting caught flush with some hooks and stuff like that. And the boy, I mean, what that I said about Fendora, he likes to get hit. He likes to get hit. He likes to get hit. He likes to bang. Um, is he a defensive wizard? No, <laughs> no, he's not a defensive wizard at all. Uh, you know, but he looked okay to me. He did look okay to me. Not to tear him down. He, he, he's from Florida. You know, he's a Florida boy now. So even though he's from Florida, you know what I mean. You know, I, I got to call it the way I see it. I don't set trip on where you're from. Uh, but I wasn't, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't overly impressed like I was when he fought Erickson Lubin. The Erickson Lubin fight was a better fight, um, in my opinion. Uh, Erickson Lubin fought the, fought, fought the wrong fight. <laughs> I think that was obvious. He fought the wrong fight in that fight. You know what I mean? But in my opinion, Fendora would need to work on his defense and fight a lot better if he faces, if he wants to face the undisputed um, the junior middleweight champion of the world, Jamel Tarlo. Um, In other news, Carlos Adames. Carlos Adames. Uh, El Negro de, de la República Dominica. El lo hizo buenísimo ayer. You know what I mean? Um, Carlos Odamas, he is the WBC intern champion uh, to Charlo's WBC strap. And he stopped Juan Montiel in the third round. Now, if you guys don't remember, uh, we know who Juan Montiel is, right? We know who Juan Montiel is. Um, the jabs to the body, in my opinion, set up a lot of stuff, set up the TKO stoppage uh, for, for, for Carlos Adamas, right? The, you, know, the jabs and the, you know, the jabs to the body. The right hook to the jaw is what sent Juan Montiel spinning in retreat. He was, Juan Montiel started getting hit with some clean shots, boy, some real clean shots. Now, as you guys know, if you don't know, this is the same, this is the same Juan Montiel who Jamal, who Jamal Charlo went life and death with a little over a year ago. And if you don't remember, that was that was one that was uh that was um uh Jam Jamal Charlo's last fight when he fought uh when he fought uh uh Juan Motel. He went life and death with him, literally life and death. He was looking good in the first six rounds. After the after the six rounds, Juan Motel stepped up the gas on him. That's how Paul Stamps was giving him a little problem. But um, and Char Charlo won the fight, but it is what it is, right? Uh Adamus is the WBC uh intern champion, right? And he's he's also a PBC fighter. He PBC. He on that side of the fence. I don't know. I don't know which promotional company he's working with, but um, he's on that side of the fence. He's a PBC fighter, if I'm not mistaken. So it should be very easy for him to get a shot at Jamal Charlo since he is the WBC intern champion, right? I don't know. I don't. You know what I mean? I, that that should be very easy to happen. Hopefully, Jamal Charlo don't duck the smoke, and he fights his stablemate Adonis. Hopefully, Al Heyman will give J Jamal Charlo permission to fight his fellow stablemen, Carlos Odomis. Hopefully he'll give a permission, right? Question I want to ask you guys is this. Were you guys impressed by Fundora's performance last night? Do you believe that the WBC will mandate Fundora and Adamas to fight both Charlo brothers in their respective weight divisions? Especially now that these two men are, with the, are, are the WBC intern champion. And they're on the same side of the street, so it shouldn't be no politics. Let's get into the show. Let's get into the show. Um... Shout out to Marty King Box. What he say? He said they let Adamus steal the show. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Adamus did his thing. Uh, let's say I think Demetrius Andrade can beat uh, Jamal. There, there's nothing wrong with you thinking that. Nothing wrong with you thinking that. Um, boxing gyms, what's going on, fam? Shout out to Boxing Gyms. Salute the Boxing Gyms. Uh, boxing Gyms, what you what you what you thought about? What you thought about um Fondora last night? Let me drop the phone lines. Let me drop the phone lines. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold nobody up today. 
Phone lines open five three zero four nine four nine six three six. What you what what you thought about what you thought about him last night? I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't I wasn't overly impressed with him. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I just wasn't. You know what I mean? He has no defense. Uh he has no defense, and he's slow. What I did notice about what I did notice about um uh Fendor, he's slow. And, and I am of the opinion that if he fights Jamil Tallo, his ass in trouble. He in trouble if he fights Jamil Tallo. Speed is gonna be his killer, and he doesn't have any defense. He he, you know he. Yeah, he's just not defensively responsible. To me, he's not he's not defensively responsible. And, and a lot of times when you fight on that inside, he gets rid of his advantage. Like the inside fight game, it worked good with Erickson Lubin, but um, uh, what my main man did, uh, my main man is Ocampo. Ocampo did a lot better than I thought he was. Uh, you, you say doesn't take, he say doesn't take advantage of his size. That's going to be his biggest killer. And then, I, but I'm going to tell you why. Because he was throwing the jab yesterday against Lubin, not against Lubin. He was throwing the jab yesterday against Ocampo, but when he threw the jab, when he threw it out there, he was landing sometimes. When he threw it out there, uh, Ocampo was able to time it with the overhand shots. When you fight those taller fighters, that overhand right or that overhand left going to be there. You see what I'm saying? So that's he was getting caught with that. So what he did was, I guess he said, hell with it. Let me go ahead and take it to the inside. You know what I mean? But Fandor, uh, uh, you, you know, Fandor, Fandor, Fandor defensively, he just, for me, it is, for me, I'm not, I'm not, for me, he doesn't have any defense at all. Now, he was catching shots with the elbows on the inside. The body shots, he was catching them. He was rolling with them and coming back. He was doing that, right? Um, but, you know, defensively, he was getting hit a little too much. Two clean, clean shots, too. Um, what you say? You say a power puncher was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, Renard. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If he, I tell you what, if he fight Jamel Charlo like that, his ass going to sleep, in my opinion. He's going to be eating a lot of shots if he fight Jamel like that. He said, Fedora looked okay. I think the I, I think the upper glass guys... Uh, might might get knocked out. I don't. You mean the upper class guys might get knocked out? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's a, he he said, he said with long reach, like he should should be better for Fedor. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really use it. He 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 doesn't have he doesn't have the most speed out there. He's not the fastest guy. He got good speed, but he's not the fastest guy. He don't have that snapping like half coming coming real like that Larry Holmes jab. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, Rockman, what you say? You say, so what did, he say, what did Lubin do wrong? Oh, Lubin did a whole lot of shit wrong. Lubin didn't have no defense. Lubin, Lubin, Lubin liked to eat punches. Lubin liked to eat punches with his face. That's what he did wrong. Lubin's lack of defense. He was just straight in punches. Erickson Lubin and Fendor was rock him, sock him. That was just rock him, sock him. You hit me, I hit you. You hit me, I hit you. You know what I mean? It was just rock him, sock him. You couldn't, they couldn't do nothing. Couldn't do nothing. You know what I mean? Lupin didn't have no defense. And it don't look like he had a game plan when he went in there. I mean, your game plan can't be to catch punches with your face. You see what I'm saying? I didn't see no slipping, no catching and shooting. I didn't see none of that. You know, but Lubin, 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 Lubin was supposed to get on the inside. You want to, you want to get on the inside. You see what I'm saying? But you want to get on the inside, but um, it was just a lot. He wasn't doing no when you're on the inside, man. You gotta be a slick, you gotta be slick on the inside. When you're on the inside, you have to be slick. You have to know how to slip those shots on the inside, catching and shooting, stuff like that. Um, you got to know how to how to uh, you know how to parry. You know what I mean? You know, you, you, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff you're gonna have to know how to do, man. How to block? You know how to block those shots and knock those shots down. You know, uh, it 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 it's it, 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 for me for me it's just crazy. It's just crazy for me. Um, you say my significant other knows Sebastian Fendor and doesn't know who Jamel Charlo is. Weird, right? Um, shit, there's a whole lot of motherfuckers don't know who Jamel Tyler is, to be honest with you. No dude, them dudes, they them dudes, they they know them dudes known them they they known amongst uh uh you know they known amongst uh uh pro PBC YouTube channels and maybe in their neighborhood, but outside of that, those guys ain't those guys ain't really known like that. Like um I let if you look at if you look at um if you look at when Jamel Tyler fought um Fought on what the dude's name is. You look at what Jamel Charlo fought um um I keep Brian Castano. When you look at what Jamel Charlo fought Brian Castano, shit, yeah. <laughs> they were they, they were giving tickets away like hotcakes there. You know what I mean? 
Hell, Jamel, Jamel Talo, Jamel Talo, and I hate to say it, you know, you know, Jamel Talo, one of my favorite fighters now, you know, I'm, you know, that, that, you know, that, that, I mean, that's what, you know, I, I rock with Jamel Talo now, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Jamel Talo, Jamel Talo couldn't, couldn't draw flies, couldn't draw flies to cow manure, to be honest with you. He said Fedora got away, got away from the body shots because he was hurting them old compo. Shout out to the chief. Um, he said Charlo would use movement and traps, coach. Uh, sloppy slop Fedora. With bad, with bad eyesight, yeah, yeah, man. Like, like I don't see, I don't see what a lot of people are seeing. They're talking, you know, when they talk about Fandor, and I like Fandor, and he's from Florida, so he's from Florida, so he's a Florida boy. So I'm not gonna do what a Texas guy would do, and, and, and just you know, yo, man, you know this fighter because he's from my state. I got the right. No, no, no. I'm caught in the way I see it, man. That, that, listen, man. If that boy, if that boy fight Jamel Charlo, and he fight the way he fought last night. And he don't improve his defense, his ass going to sleep, dog. His ass going to sleep. He has no defense. Uh, he said Fandora better not let Charlo come inside. He need he needs to stop that brawling ish and box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling hey, shout out the food revolution. Shout out the food revolution. I'm 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 not high on him like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a lot of people high on this dude, but I'm not high on him like that. I'm like, man, I don't know what y'all seeing. I, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a guy who don't have any defense and he like to eat punches. I you know, he, I see a guy who don't have defense and he like to eat punches. Now he does block block on the inside with the elbows, but he's slow. If he fights a faster puncher that know how to slip and counter and make it make him pay, that dude in trouble, man. The thing is, what Lubin should have did was Lubin just sat right there. He just sat right there and tried to go at it, go at it with him on the, in the pocket instead of getting his shots off and then getting out of the way. He wasn't using using any pivots. He wasn't spinning them. He wasn't turning them. He wasn't doing none of that. But Ocampo looked better than I thought he did because everybody, everybody, we thought, everybody, we thought that he was going to get. Uh, everybody, everybody thought that he, everybody thought in this chat that uh, uh, Ocampo was going to get knocked out. I damn sure did. I thought I thought Ocampo was going to sleep. Come fucking with me, you going to get knocked the fuck out. I'm gonna knock out all this, baby. <laughs> but I tell you what, though, I tell you what, I tell you what, man. Uh, what, what, they, what they're gonna have to do? What they gonna have to do is uh, he gonna have to he gonna have to work on his mid to uh, long. The man got an eighty arm. The man got an eighty inch arm reach. Uh, he has an eighty inch arm reach. An eighty inch arm reach. Bro, like he doesn't even use his advantages at all. He doesn't use his advantages at all. He has an 80 inch arm reach. You get what I'm saying? So, it, but it's it's working for him so far. It's working for him so far. Uh he said did Fedora carry on compo somewhat? No, nah, he didn't carry him. If he could have got him out of there, he would have got him out of there. He didn't, I don't think he carried him. You know what I mean? Um, you say you say him and his sister funny looking. I mean, they're tall. I mean, him and his sister tall and slim, so. Both of them tall and slim. You get what I'm saying? Shout out to Mata King Boss. What did he say? Let me say Fendor don't have any footwork. It seemed he didn't use it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday he didn't really look all that. He didn't look all that. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he looked he looked average. Like he looked he looked he looked all right. He looked okay, but you know, I would say you, you say Fendor looked average last night. Yeah, to me he did. To me he looked average to me. Um, you say Fendor should use his range more. Yeah, that, that's that's not how we fight. That's not how we fight. You 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 have an eighty inch arm reach. Now you you say you say, coach, what about Fendor? You say what about Fendor versus Tony Harrison and Castano to gain more experience before Charlo? Ah, uh, that's gonna be a hell of a that's gonna be a hell of a fight if he fight Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison is slick. Tony Harrison has damn good footwork. Um, Tony Harrison slick have good footwork. Uh, Tony not gonna fight him on the inside. <laughs> Tony not gonna do that. Tony gonna get his shots off and get the hell up out of there. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Tony, Tony, Tony not gonna do that. Tony Harris not gonna do that. But I don't think he wants to fight Tony Harrison now. I, he, you know, he remember uh, Jesus. Remember, uh, 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 what my brother name? Fundora is the De WBC intern champion. He deserved it. As a matter of fact, let me let me show you what he said. Let me show you what he said. Let me show you what he said. Let me blow it up for you right quick. Let me let me show you what he said. Hey, let's get the lights up. We got um, we got 140 people in here. Let's see if we get the lights up to over 100. Uh, let me show you what he said, fam. 
And he's not wrong. Uh, you know, um, he's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. Because if he, you know, he, he is the interim champion right now. Why would you want to fight Tony Harrison when your next shot should be at the title? His next shot should be at the title, right? Uh, let me pull it up. Let me, show, let me show you something, Jesus. Let me, show, let me show you what he said in the article. Shout out to Bless. You said Ocampo, no, he couldn't whoop Fandora. He went 12 rounds. He went 12 rounds with him. I mean, everybody, everybody thought that everybody thought that um he was gonna get knocked out. All of us all blessed thought he was gonna get knocked out. We damn sure did. We thought he was gonna get knocked out. I was shocked he could not knock Ocampo out. Or at least, you know, a TKO him. You know what I mean? Let me show you something though. Fundora, he says, I am the WBC mandatory. I earned my spot. We'll see what happens. This is what he said, right? I'm being super middleweight. I'm being super. Uh, sorry about that. I'm being super welterweight uh, champion. Sebastian Fundor. Hold on, guys. Got a call. Call me. Call him. What's your name? Where you calling from? Sorry about that. Call him. What's your name? Where you calling from? It's Ryan from Boxing Gym. I'm good with you, folks. Uh, shout out, shout out to Ryan, man. Hey, hey Boxing Gym, what's going on, fam? Uh, shout out to Boxing Gym. Salute, fam. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I agree with you, fam. Well, Pandora is a waste of hype and reach. Yeah. Um, every <laughs> the jab, the jab, um, is just not, it's just not solid, fam. So I've been saying on my channel for a little minute. Mm -hmm. If he had somebody like Manny Stewart in his corner, he'd be a monster. But since he gives up his uh his advantages, somebody gonna catch him. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I, to, I totally agree, brother, about Boston Jim, because I'm like this here, man. Like, you know, I, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, man, this dude making so many damn mistakes. And bro, he he was working the jab the first two rounds. Jab was going pretty good. He got caught a couple of times, but you know, and then uh, with them in the third round hit, it was like, you know what, man, the hell with it. And then he started going back as the fight went on. He did started going back to trying to box on the outside, but then he'll go right back inside. And I'm like, bro, like. I seen, I saw him catching with the elbows. I did see him catching with the elbows on the inside, but he's slow. He's slow. And I saw, and I saw Carlos, uh, I saw Ocampo catch him. Even when, even when, um, um, uh, Fandora tried to box him on, box him on the outside, I saw him getting caught a couple of times because when he, when he throws his, when he throws the jab, it, it come back so slow. You know, somebody that tall, he's susceptible to the overhand right. And he got caught a couple of times. And I'm like, man, you know, you know, with the points coming back, you can time them. So I guess he was like, the hell with it. Let me go on the inside. When he went on the inside, I get what he was trying to do. But I'm like, dude, you have an 80-inch arm reach. An 80-inch yeah. arm reach. Well, what say you? Yeah, nah. So so I thought Fandor is a little bit more scared than Ocampo on the inside. Um, mm -hmm. He was using um, – he was, he was clinching better. I don't mean holding. I mean, I yeah, mean clinching. Clinch. Uh, I got you. So over the hook, um, all that type of stuff. But um, but yeah. So but he has no frame game, man, and he has no real physicality for as big as he is. You know what I'm saying? You would think that somebody that size would <clears throat> be able to put that size on his opponent and move him around a little bit more, but he wasn't able to. That's why it looked so even. Plus, plus his guard was his guard was a little lackluster on the inside mm -hmm. while he was being physical and controlling his opponent. So it, it, looked, it looked strange, but I, I thought he was winning around doing that. Now, before that, though, when it was on the outside, uh, Ocampo was just coming behind his jab and countering with that uh, yeah. uh, hook to the body, yep. hook to the head. Yep, you're right. Now, now to Fondor's credit, he did start timing him with a cross while he came in like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about the left. Yeah, the, yeah, the left cross. You did. He did. He did. You're right. He did start timing him. But yeah, but overall, man, nah, I think he's just. So if he don't learn how to use his life, he go, yeah. I think Charlo's just gonna clear. He gonna clear his. Uh, he gonna clear his friend. <laughs> yeah, man, for real, man. I, I think so too. I, he, he's gonna have to fight better. Now he is. He is the WBA. I'm, I'm seeing the title to people in the chat. He is the WBC intern champion. So he does deserve a shot at the title. Um. What 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 what, 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 what do you think about what do you think about Carlos Adamas? What do you thought about his performance last night? Um, he looked good, man. I just don't like the way he was opening up his guard. You, did you notice that? Yeah, I didn't notice that. I did notice that. I was like, he, he, would, he would, it would be a hand or a foot faint, and then he'd open up his guard like a habit. 
You know what I'm saying? It didn't look like it was for a, a specific reason. It was behind the foot faint, then his guard would open into like a circular motion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. Somebody, somebody would definitely pick up on that thing. That's just, that's you know, just. isn't he isn't he tra- trained by Ronnie Shields as well? I know Jamal Tall was trained by Ronnie Shields, but who was the dumbest trained by? Hmm. Good question. Good question. I could have I saw him. Um, uh, first, time I saw Adamus was that spawn session he had with Crawford. Mm. Uh, I think it was in Gleason's gym in New York. Mm. He, he did pretty well for himself, even though you know what I'm saying Crawford kind of Crawford kind of roughed him up to the body, and he was way bigger than Crawford too. But Crawford kind of roughed him up to the body. His coach said said stop, but that wasn't Ronnie Shields. So, oh, okay. yeah, that wasn't okay. Ronnie Shields. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't, well, know. I don't know. For some reason. For some reason, I now, thought I saw a photo with him and Ronnie Shields somewhere, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, you, you might be right because that was like that was a few years back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, so, well, listen. Hey, listen. Uh, nah. Boston Gems. Uh, anything? Anything else you want to say, my brother? Nah, man. I just wanted to call them. My first time calling them, man. <laughs> you know, you already know I've been listening to the show. Yeah, man. Appreciate I appreciate like, you as a content. Yeah, man, I, I love I love your show, man. I watch all your videos, man. You like you really really know your stuff in boxing. Uh, like you really you really know your stuff. I tell people all the time about you and a couple other channels. I say, man, you want to learn the sport and learn how to you know you know just you know you, so you can understand what you're seeing. You know, I always recommend one of your, your channel, of course, beats and scrapbook and blood mm-hmm. and stuff like that as well. Hey, um, thank you so much, brother. Yeah. For as well, yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you for calling in, Boston Gems. Salute the Boston Gems, man. Y'all, please go subscribe. Look up uh, Boston Gems. Um, look up Boston Gems. Hey, Boston Gems, drop the link. Drop the link. Drop the link in the in the chat. Drop the link in the chat. Um, whoever the caller was, caller, please call back. Uh, Teach, what's going on, Teach? He said, "I like what I see." Fandor forces people to fight his fight. Mel, Mel is not a good inside fighter. You know what? I want I want to I want to see them fight each other though. I want to see them fight each other. I definitely want to see them fight each other. Because I know Castagna was a good inside fighter, but Castagna was a shorter fighter. I want to see how, you know, how how Jamel Charlo would be able to uh um uh, sorry about that. How Jamel Charlo would be able to um handle that pressure. Call him what's your name when you call it from. It's Con Enigma. Con Enigma, talk to me. Where you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from uh, Washington, Seattle, Washington. All right, Seattle, talk to me. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think uh, Charlo would get him. Charlo would hit him with a, a big shot, probably on the inside, overhand. And because uh, Charlo got, he got the power. But the thing about Fandora, I noticed when he was uh, fighting yesterday, mm. his jab, he really, his jab, he was just putting a jab. He really didn't have nothing behind it. He wasn't creating anything off the jab. Mm. It was just, it wasn't really a solid jab like uh, Boston Jim was saying. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. solid. It was just something out there. But um, I noticed the Capos on the inside, I I would wish he would have stepped around him and turned him like you mentioned. Yeah. yeah, you know, get you a couple shots off, catch, shoot, turn him. He wasn't doing that. He was just like leaning on him. Like, I know he smothered a couple of his punches, but he wasn't oh. stepping around. And, you know, you know, it was crazy. It was kind of It was crazy because I'm like, what the hell is Cole Campo doing? If Fandora, just say Fandora, if Fandora would have just slipped to the side, the way the way Ocampo was leaning on him, he he probably would have failed. Yeah, he probably would have failed. Yep. I'm like, damn, yep. he didn't know he would even. And listen, listen, and Ocampo was doing that the entire fight. That's why the referee went over there, which was dumb as hell. Look, you leaning on him. I'm thinking about stopping the fight. I don't know what the hell Jack Reese is talking about. I'm like, bro, like. That ain't no reason to stop no fight. Yeah. You know, that was that was crazy, you know, what, what uh Jack Reese was talking about. But like the it, it, there was so much, there was so many things that uh were, was desired for me to see from Fandora. And I'm like, dude, this dude is leaning on you. You don't know how to sidestep, you don't know how to, you know, once yeah. you get you, you don't know how to you like, it, like I, I saw all of that. I'm like, man, I don't, you know, I don't know, man. I I I, I you know, I would have to see, but Somebody with some good footwork gonna get in, and, 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 and so somebody with some good footwork gonna outbox him. Um, and he's not if he's gonna negate his height, and then if he fights someone that has some power, yeah. some power, he gonna get dropped a couple of times. Hey, check this out, coach. I won't hold you up too long. Mm-hmm. I was sparring uh, one guy. Uh, I'm I'm five eight and a half. I was sparring a friend. He's like 
I want to say he's six six three, mm. and he got long jab. He's southpaw. I can fight southpaw or I can fight um, right handed. So I was fighting southpaw. Mm. What I did when I got in on the inside, I was turning him, stepping around, taking angles, and he he was like shit. He couldn't he couldn't deal with street my legs, but he couldn't deal with it because I was turning him. This guy got long arms. I'm mm. on the inside. I'm I'm, I'm grinding to the body, stepping around, doing all that. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted Kempo to do, but he just wasn't doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, yeah. You're right about that, Con. Hey, salute to you, fam, man. Thank you for calling yeah. into the show, my brother. Uh, have a good day. Shout out to Con and Nickel, yes, man. Sir. Connor from Seattle, man. Seattle in the building. Uh, Nautico Blings, he said, Fandora not ready yet. Give him two years. Nah, he said he want the smoke. If he want the smoke, man, hey, if he want the smoke, give it to him. He said he want the smoke right now. You know what I mean? So, and, um, you know, I feel, I, I feel, you know, I feel, you know, I feel he ready. He, he, he's the intern champion. He's the intern champion. You know what I mean? He's the WBC. He's the WBC intern champion. Check this out. Check this out, fam. Hold on, hold on. I'm showing the chat. Now, check this out. It said, the unbeaten super welterweight, uh, Sebastian, Sebastian, the towering inferno from door, defended his, defended his intern WBC super, super welterweight title uh, with a dominant, which we know he dominated last night, right? So anyways. We know he came off of his win with uh with with we, he came off of his win with Lubin. We know all of that, right? Um, he talked about he talked about Ocampo. He said well, Ocampo was a was a tough Mexican stuff like that. That's why I couldn't get him out of there. But right here, but right here, right here is what I saw right here. What I saw right here is this. He said, "I am the WBC mandatory." This is what Fundora said. I've earned my spot, and we'll see what happens. But I hope I'm next. Fingers crossed. So, you know, he is the WBC mentor. He right. He's right. He's earned his spot. Now, I think that Jamal Jamel Chalo, I think that Jamel Chalo is going to have to is going to have to um, defend his belt. I think Jamel Chalo is going to have to defend his belt um, against Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is the WBO uh, mentor. So Jamel Chalo has a, has quite a few mentors. He's going to have to, you know what I mean, defend his belt against. I don't know which one is going to come first, but from what I've learned, I think that uh, Jamel Tyler is going to have to fight defend his title against Tim Zhu on um, Tim Zhu on um, uh, January. I think Jamel Tyler is supposed to come back in January. Why is it taking him so long to fight? I don't know. A lot of those fighters over there at the PBC have been having trouble getting fight dates. So since they've been having trouble getting fight dates, you get what I'm saying? That, that I mean, that's just what it is. That's just what's going on. You get what I'm saying? But um, but it is what it is. I, I think Jamel would take front door apart. Um, I just think that he's gonna have to he's gonna have to get some defense, dog. He's gonna have to get some defense. He's gonna have to get some defense. Shout out to Mark Nash. Salute to Mark Nash. Mark Nash in the building. He said 173 watts, but 90 likes, but only 90, 90 likes. He said, Y'all better hurry up before coach raises the cost of admission. <laughs> hey, you get what I'm saying? Uh, he said, I remember old Campo got KO'd uh by Errol in the first round four years ago. Yeah, er- Errol Smith got him with got him out of there with a body shot. Got him out of there with a body shot. And um, that was Ocampo's first first time f- having a 12-round fight when he fought Errol Spence. And I don't think he had another 12-round fight since, um, again, since last night, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. He, Ocampo's been on a 12-fight 12, 12 winning streak, but he's been fighting them all in Mexico. He, he, he had, well, let's see, is it 12? Yeah, he, he's, been, he, you know, he's been on a 12-fight a win streak, and 10 of those, and 10 of those, um, 10 of those uh, um, uh, 12 fights have been in Mexico. 10 of, 10 of those 12 fights been to Mexico, so. You get what I'm saying? So I don't I don't know what the level of competition is being. But he went 12 rounds last night, though. He went 12 rounds. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I, I was, I was bro, if I, if, if I was a betting man, I would have betted money that um, Fandora was going to stop him. I would have lost money on that fight because a lot of people, a lot of us thought, a lot of us thought he was going to stop him. Uh, a lot of us thought that he was going to stop him. You get what I'm saying? I would just say you say Fandora don't don't remind you of Paul Williams, tall, lanky fighter that loves to fight on the inside. Yeah, yeah. That's how that's how that's how Paul Williams got knocked out too. Um, well, as a matter of fact, Paul Williams got knocked out. Um, like Sergio Martinez knocked him out. He set him up. He set him up nice too. He set him up nice too. Uh, Serge caught him. Serge, Serge caught him with a straight left, a left hook, and uh, Paul Williams was coming on the inside. Coming on the inside, and he kept repeating the pattern. And Sergio was Sergio was circling just a half bit to the left, circling just a half bit to the left. He he, he was setting the trap for him. He set the trap for him 
they'll come right on in, you know, for uh for Paul Williams to come right on in, and then when Paul Williams rest on the inside, he, he uh Sergio caught tightened him perfectly, bap, and knocked him out. Caught him with that left hook, knocked him out. Paul Williams walked right into it. Put his ass to sleep, walked right into it. Uh and this is the thing, like when like 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 when Fondora, when he's fighting somebody on the inside that has footwork, that's not gonna sit there like 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 on Lubin did. I'm gonna sit here and we just gonna sit in the pocket and trade punches. You gotta have somebody who can get their shots off, spin, pivot. Remember how remember how um uh in his uh Sean Porter when Sean Porter fought Errol Smith, you remember how he was spinning them and turning them? He was on the inside, then he'll spin them. And then Errol Spencer has Sean Porter on the ropes, and Sean Porter spin him, and then turn in the house. Uh, Errol Spencer on the ropes. When he fights somebody who has footwork like that, he in trouble. He in trouble. He in trouble. Uh, shout out to Bless. You said Ocampo did better, better, better than most expected. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Bless. I was, I was, and you know what, Bless? You know the crazy part about it? Ocampo was there to get knocked out. Did you see how he was leaning, like, like he was tired, like he, like his legs was gone, but he was just leaning, leaning on. Front door and front door was that like literally holding them up. I'm like, dude, you do see that this dude leaning on you, right? Your trainers ain't tell you. Well, you don't need no trainers to tell you. You don't see that this dude leaning on you. This guy's leaning on you. All you gotta do is sidestep him. If you, you you can sidestep him. Listen, he leaning on you. He could have sidestep to the right, bop, came up that right uppercut. He could have sidestep to the left, bop, came up that came up that left uppercut. Or he could have sidestepped him, caught him with a hook. And then came back with an uppercut, like you know what I mean. Like it was so much more to be desired. He could have got he's 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 supposed to, he's supposed to got Ocampo out of there. He he said he said I know he said I know my boss, and I guess you get what I'm saying. Shout out to Teach. He said I didn't he, I didn't like what the ref did. Yeah, I didn't like what the ref did either. But he said, but you can argue that the ref gave Ocampo more motivation to stay in. Fandora had him hurt. If the ref didn't stay, if the ref didn't say that. Uh, he might have would have been KO. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is Fandora got to work on his defense. He got to work on his defense. He got to work on his defense. He ain't got no defense. That's his, that's gonna be. He ain't got no defense, and he's slow. And whatever strengths he have from a height advantage, he negates that. This dude has an eighty inch arm reach. You know who have 80 inch arm reaches? Heavyweights normally have arm reaches like that. Tyson Fury got what, an 84 inch arm reach? Something like that? 84 inch arm reach, Tyson Fury has that. You get what I'm saying? So normally, normally, uh, you know, so he, you know, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. You know what though? Now, back to back to Adamus though. Back to Adamus. Adamus looked good last night. He looked good last night. He put Juan Motiel to sleep. Now you guys remember Juan Motiel. <laughs> you know, you know, and you know, everybody always say, you know, Jamal, Jamal Tano went life and death with Juan Motiel. With life, you know, with all, with all due respect, with all due respect. And this ain't no shade. This ain't no shade to uh Juan Motiel, but Juan Motiel is, 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 is Juan Motiel uh is, is a tomato can. He's a tomato can. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Juan Motiel is a tomato can. He had no right, you know. Uh, Jamal Tallo got to put them cans out there like that. You got he got to he got to put them cans out. And Odomis knocked them out, so you can you can say that okay, well he fought somebody else's leftovers. You can say that. And Odomis didn't look, didn't, you know, he didn't do perfect last night. He was opening his guard up. Uh, Boxing Jill was one hundred percent correct on that. But um, I would like to see I would like to see Odomis get his shot at the WBC middleweight title. And he's with the PBC. Last time I checked. He's with the PBC. So you got two PBC fighters. So you have two PBC fighters. You get what I'm saying? Uh, that should be able to fight each other. That's all I'm saying. Two PBC, two PBC fighters that should be able to fight each other. That's all I'm saying. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be no issue. We the Charlo twins. We known for calling everybody out. Please call these I'm people not scared out. Of Listen, the whole world's looking at you. Call these people out. What's please. up? It's the Jamal the Hitman Charlo. Let's get it. Who want it? <laughs> Name them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. Is, the bro. names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Mexican monster. Not the Indian. Stop, Paul Killer. What you say? You say Fedora was exposed, coach. Ah, uh, he was. You know, he was. Uh, he was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. He was kind of. He was kind of. Kind of exposed. Uh, when he fought uh, Lubin. Uh, what was exposed when he fought Lubin? He was exposed that he didn't have any defense. Everybody left away with that. You know, he did. He liked to trade shots. 
You got the trade shots. Um, what you say? You, you say would you say uh, Jamal? Shout out to Franco. You say Jamal Charlo is scared of Adamas. You know what though? They're on the same side of the street. I hope they don't use that because he's a brother. You know, we got we got a no black fighter rule. I hope I hope they don't use that. I hope they don't use that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I hope they don't use that. You know what I mean? He should he should be able to fight. Uh, he should fight that guy. Get that guy. Get that guy a shot at the title. Adamas. He should he should fight that guy. Or maybe you know what I mean. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what should happen. The WBC should mandate this. The WBC should mandate that Adamas get his shot. Get it? Should, should they should mandate it? Period. I'm sorry. 160 is my weight division. I want to unify. I want to get Golovkin in the ring. I want to bring him to Houston. You know what I'm saying? I want to get Canelo out here to Houston. If they really to come down to 160, this is my weight division. I'm just saying, bro. Like you get what I'm saying? You ain't fought in over a year. Let, let's see what the last time Jamal Charlo fought. Let's see what the last time he fought. Cause I don't, I don't think Jamal. And let's see, we we, we know Jamal Charlo just fought um, in April. I think he fought in April, right? Let's look and see. Hold on. Let's pull up. Uh, hold on. Let's pull him up. So we have right here. You know, we we, we have right here. Fandora is the guy. He's right here. He's the intern. He's the WBC intern champion. Jamal Charlo got to get his guy a shot. Jamal Charlo also is going to have to fight Tim Zoo. So Tim Zhu is going to be the next fight for Jamel Charlo, I think, some, next year sometime. And then after that, he probably going to have this guy. All right, let's continue. But let's go here. Let's go here. I want to see when the last time. Let's see when the last time, Jamel. We know Jamel fought. Let's get this, let's get this resume. Let's pull up his record. Let's pull up. Let's pull, let's pull, up, let's pull up his record. Uh, shout out to Edwin. Shout out to Edwin Castillo. Shout out to Edward Castillo. Ah, uh, let me see what's up. Let's pull. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me pull up. Let me. Where's. 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 where's uh, that's ring. Let's go to box rec. Let's go to box rec, guys. Jamal Charlo shouldn't have no problem fighting this guy. It ain't like he doing nothing any damn ways. This this, this. this. This guy's mandatory to your title. You get what I'm saying? It ain't like he doing nothing. Y'all get what I'm saying? It ain't like he doing nothing. That's all I'm saying. Oh, let me see what's up. So we got we got both of these up. This the hitman right here. This the ball the hitman Charlo, right? Let's this the ball. Disrespect to call me them hitman, but you see that now, Jamal Charlo got a 73, 73 and a half inch arm reach. And doggone uh the guy that's in the junior middleweight, Fandora got a 80 inch arm reach. Damn. Let's go here. Last time Jamal Charlo fight, guys, as you can see, he fought Juan Motiel. Now, Juan Motiel got knocked out last night by Carlos Adonis. The Dominican Nightmare, right? Uh, Juan Macias Motiel, right? Uh, Jamal Charlo went 12 rounds with him. Adonis put him to sleep in three. Okay, so all right. So the last time Jamal Charlo fought was June, June, uh, June 2021. June 2021. By the time Jamal Charlo comes back, Let's see. June, July, August. January. He come back January, that's going to be 19 months. If he come back after that, that's going to be 20 months in February. So this guy's a very, this he's inactive. And as you can see, he only fights, he fought twice in 2019. He fought one time in 2020, fought one time in 2021. So as the years go by, his fights are getting less and less, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So he need to fight his mandatory. He need to fight his mandatory. And Jamel Charlo. Now let me tell you something about this about this fight right here with Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo fought May. He fought May of May of this year. It's rumored that he'll be back in January to fight Tim Zoo. He's gonna come back in January to fight Tim Zoo, right? That's um that's that that's the rumor. He's gonna come back and fight uh, Tim Zoo in Jan in January. You're talking about a way to squander the momentum, the way to squander the momentum, guys, the momentum of, of coming off undisputed. This guy fought, he fought at Dignity Health Sports uh, Sports Park in Carson. I think that's where um they had the uh Fandora and them fought last night at the Dignity Health Sports Center. Bro, like, okay, it's bad enough that Jamel Talo, he fought Brian Castaño, and they gave away more tickets than they sold, right? 
um, I was getting comps. They were sending me comps left and right. Uh, you know, I got some comps. Uh, you know, you know, like they give out, they send out a lot of comps and stuff like that. But you didn't, you didn't really hear a lot of people talking about it like that, right? This man fought to become undisputed, which is an historic event. He's in the history books, right? And then what's the way to kill the momentum? You don't hear nothing about it. They talked about it for like a week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks if I want to be generous. Now they don't even say, they don't even talk about Jamil Tarlow at all. This man is the undisputed junior middleweight champion of the world. He's in the history books. I think he's the, he, he, he's in there with, uh, in the four belt era, who do we have? Bernard Hopkins, Jermaine Taylor, who beat Bernard Hopkins. Uh, Terrence Crawford was the, uh, was the third one. Alexander Usyk was the fourth one. I think Josh Taylor was the fifth one. Uh, Canelo Alvarez was the sixth one. Jamel Charlo was the seventh one. And, um, and Devin Haney was the eighth one. So he's in the history books in the four belt era. In the four belt era, he's in the history books. What you say, uh, what you say, um, AJ, you say uh, Jamel has an IBF mandatory. Yeah, Jamel is busy. Jamel is busy. He got a lot of mandatory. He going to have a lot of mandos. He going to have a lot of mandos. As a matter of fact, let's, hey, AJ, let's look, let's look at the, um, the IBF. Let's look at the IBF. But my thing is this here. I'm not even worried about Jamel. We know Jamel going to fight. Jamel going to fight. It's uh, Jamal. I, I want to show you guys something. I don't want you guys thinking I'm capping. I'm, I'm fixing to show you right now. Hold on. Fixing to show you right now. Let's go here. Uh, junior. September. September. Let me see what's up. Submit. All right. No rating. So going to have to go to. I don't know why. I don't have any rate. Okay. You know what? Hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up September. All right. I guess they want me to go to August then. Fuck it. I'll go to August. Uh, is it, is it, is it, is it this Russian guy? AJ, is it this Russian guy right here? Bakram? Is it this Russian guy, Bakram? Hmm. This might, this is the mandatory, let's see. He defended, he won the championship. He de he defended his mandatory on, um, they say June. 2021. So I wonder, I wonder if it's this guy right here, Bakram. Hey, teach what you say, fam. You say Maul acting like a fool. Hey, listen, check it out though. Check it out. Let, let's look at. Okay, that's that's Jamel Talo, right? That's Jamel Talo. Hold on, let's let's pull something up. So we, 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 we shouldn't hear no, oh man, wrong side of the street. You got to leave your promoter uh, to, you know, to make the fight happen. We shouldn't see none of that over here, right? Um, the WBC should mandate this fight to happen. I want to, I want to, I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something. This this is Adamus right here. As you can see, this is the PBC website. And so this is the, 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 the this is an in-house fight. This is an in-house fight. This is the PBC website. This is the in-house fight, right? Carlos Adamus, 28 years old. De la República Dominica, right? Now, he's a brother. Jamal Talo, we do know Jamal Talo's with the PBC. There should be no reason why Jamal Talo. Uh, should not fight uh, this guy. This guy should be mandated. And guess what? He's the WBC interim champion. He is the WBC interim champion. This guy right here, Adonis. He's the WBC interim champion. You see what I'm saying? Let me, break, let me blow it up a little bit more. He's the WBC interim champion. 28 years old. You get what I'm saying? So he, th 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 there's no reason there's no reason why this why this fight shouldn't be made. There's no reason why this fight shouldn't be made. None. None whatsoever. You get what I'm saying? There's no reason. And then it, 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 it ain't like he ain't doing nothing anyways. Last time he had a fight, last time he had a fight was um last time he had a fight was um we just saw when he had a fight, June, June 2021. 
Hey, you see what I'm saying, Bless? So we know Jamel Chalo, Jamel Chalo gonna be busy doing this thing. Jamel Chalo gonna be busy doing this thing. We know that, right? Jamel gonna be busy doing this thing. So I, I, I have no doubt in my mind about Jamel Chalo. There's not a doubt in my mind about Jamel Chalo. None, none whatsoever. Um, my doubts come when it comes to Jamel Chalo. So we're gonna see what's up. And you know, uh, you know who knows, man. He probably can beat the brother, but he gotta fight him. Hey Jay, what you say, fam? You say um, you say you say the chief WBC, or you said WBC won't strip. Uh, Juan, what you said? You say someone needs to fight Jennebeck. Jennebeck has a fight lined up already, Juan. Jennebeck, I forgot who Jennebeck is. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, let's pull that up. I think Jennebeck is uh. I think Jenna Beck is, uh, I think he got a fight lined up, dog. I think he got a fight lined up. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Today is Sunday, and we have to be thankful. We have to be thankful. First of all, I would like to thank Al Hamy for blessing me uh, to be able to do uh, a podcast on YouTube. I want to thank Al Hamy before I thank God. Before I thank uh, Allah, before I thank Moses, Lot, Abraham, before I thank Yahshua, before I thank uh, uh, Yahweh, you know what I mean? Before I thank uh, my mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother, I want to thank him first. You see what I'm saying? Because that do seem like that's what all the fighters over there they have to do. They have to thank Al Haman before they thank God and, 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 and anyone else. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and thank Al Haman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be <laughs> they named. Know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Martin King Boxing, he said he say Adamus ain't got no fans, coach. Uh... He not putting butts in seats. Marty King, check this out, though. Check this out. I, 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 got, I got something I want to say on that. Odomus ain't got no fans. He ain't putting butts in seats. I got something I want to say on that. <laughs> and you know, you know, hey, 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 uh, hey, shout out to Marty King, Boston. I got something I want to say on that, my brother. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me get the super chats out the way. Shout out to Chance. I'm sorry? Shout out to Chance, man. Salute to Chance. The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy Rick James? Hey, okay. Uh, for dropping that two dollar, bam, super chat on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super chat received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. You say, you say, Charlo. You say, you say, Carlos will beat Jamal Charlo easily. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know if it'll be easily. I mean, Jamal Charlo is a world class fighter. He is a world class fighter, so I'm not going to say uh he'll beat him easily. But I do, I do respect your opinion. Uh, I, you know, Charlo, like the Jamal Charlo is a good fighter. I would never say he's not a good fighter. It's just that man, he don't he don't have the heart. You get me? Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Shout out to it's dope. It's dope. What's going on, fam? Hey, okay. dropping that quarter of a bam dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. <laughs> he said, he said, just wanted to thank Al Heyman before I, before I jump in the chat. <laughs> Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Now, check this out. I don't, I don't know if Adamus will beat Jamal Tyler or not. You know what I mean? But all I'm saying is that it, that's his mandatory. That's his mandatory, right? That's his mandatory. I'm sitting there watching this game. That I mean, that's his mandatory. And um, he's an interim champion. He need to fight him. Now, check this out. My brother, Marty King, Boston, say that they won't make that fight, right? And that was his opinion. My brother say they won't make that fight because he's not putting butts in seats. You know what I mean? Adamus don't have any fans. He won't put butts in seats. So this is the question that I have. This is the question I have, my brother. Did, uh... Did, did, did Juan Monsi's motel put any butts in seats? <laughs> Last, at the Toyota Center. Uh, when, when Jamal Tala fought Sergey Daryanchenko, um, did 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 what did he put butts in seats? Did he put butts in seats? You get what I'm saying? Uh, uh, when he fought Dennis Hogan, big bad Dennis Hogan, did he put butts in seats? <laughs> you get, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, baby, body kid, you feel me? You know when 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 uh, when Jamal when Jamal Tala fought big bad Brandon Adams, did he put some butts in seats? So last time I checked. 
When he fought Matt Bay Corball, pretty sure Matt Bay Corball didn't put no butts in season either. When he fought Hugo Centeno Jr., guess what? He didn't put no butts in season either. So, I, I, and when he fought Jorge Sebastian Highland, I'm pretty sure that guy didn't put no butts in season. So, I, I, I get what you're saying, my brother. And guess what? There's another thing you forgot to forgot too, um, my brother, Marty King Boston. Uh, uh, Jamal Tarlo last fight got canceled because he was going to fight, um, he was going to fight, um, uh, what the dude named Macy Sulecki, and the tickets were selling so poorly, the people in Houston weren't going to buy that fight. He was fighting, uh, he was going to fight Macy Sulecki. Guess what? They had to cancel the fight. He he faked like he had a back injury. Jamal Charlo faked like he had a back injury. And when all, when you see they didn't reschedule the fight. They said they're going to reschedule, they never rescheduled. He faked like he had a back injury because the tickets were selling that poorly. True, true, true. So, you get what I'm saying? So, you know, Shit, he, he ain't fighting nobody that's putting butts in seats, if you ask me. He ain't fighting nobody putting butts in seats. And, and, and truth be told, hey, another thing, Jamal Charlo ain't got no fans. Shit, it, it, it ain't like he'll barn burner at the box office. He ain't got no fans neither. So if you ask me, shit, if he fight, if he fight um, Adamus, that, that, you know, I mean, Jamal Charlo might have a couple of more fans more than Adamus, but shit, he ain't like, he ain't like Jamal Charlo walking down the street and motherfucker screaming, ah, oh, that's your mom, child, oh. girl, just take a selfie with him, girl, girl, ooh, look, my baby daddy over there, girl, girl, my baby daddy over there, girl, distract my baby daddy while I get a picture with your mom, oh. like, ain't, you get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody doing that for him, shit, he ain't got no goddamn fans neither, shit. He can literally walk down, shit, Jamal, Jamal Tolo can literally walk down, uh, he can literally walk down his house, walk, he can literally walk down uh, 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 the city of Houston, and shit, he he he'll be lucky. He'll, he'll be lucky with twenty people spot him. Then when they said, "Oh, that ain't oh who that is? Oh, that's Jamal Tyler. Ain't they ain't nobody but Jamal. They ain't, ain't nobody but Jamal Tyler. That's all that was. You get what I'm saying? That's all. That's that's all I'm saying. By the King Bother, he said Jamal Tyler less. He say less fan friendly than the Diamonds at this point. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just saying though. Hey, right, hey, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this here. They need they need to make that fight happen. Now, do you retire? Or do you take one of the toughest fights of your career against a young black African-American stud who's been working his ass off since he was eight years old? Do my brother put it all on the line then? So if not, then come see me. I want some smoke. I want it all, baby. You get what I'm saying? You get you get what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you know, shit. You know, I I, I like, I mean, I again, what you, what you say, it's dope. You say uh, Tony Harrison. You say Tony Harrison, probably probably a bigger draw than Charlo. Um, which one? Which one? You talking about uh uh, uh oh, you talking about Jamel tomorrow? Oh, which one? You talking about Jamel Charlo or Mo? Marty King said Adamus, Adamus the boogeyman. I you know I don't know I don't know if he the boogeyman. I don't I don't I don't know if he the boogeyman or not. But you get what I'm saying? I don't know if I don't know if he the boogeyman or not. But if he if he the mentor, you guys do know what, what the rule is. The, the the duty of a champion is to what? Fight all up fight 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 everybody. If you're a champion, you have to fight all 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 comers. If you're a champion, you gotta defend your titles. All I'm saying is this here. Shit. Uh Jamal Tolo ain't got nothing to do. He's sitting here, you know, he fought Montiel this last fight. Montiel got knocked out by the diamonds. Adamus stopped him in three. Jamal Charlo went life and death with him. He fought, he, he went life and death with Sergey Davinchenko. He stopped Big Bad Dennis Hogan. Don't nobody know who Dennis Hogan is. Sound like a subway sandwich. Um, he fought Brandon Adams, right? Brandon Adams, Brandon Adams was, was, was a featherweight, moved up from featherweight to middleweight. You know what I mean? He wasn't no featherweight, I'm being facetious, but he was a smaller guy that moved up in weight, is what I'm saying. Um, he fought Matt Bay Corball. You know what I mean? Matt Bay went, went, went like, matter of fact, I thought he lost this fight against Matt Bay Corball. Matt Bay Corball got robbed. If you ask me, um, he, and then he fought Hugo Centeno Jr., and then he fought Jorge Sebastian Highland. He ain't fought no damn body in the middleweight division. You get what I'm saying? He ain't fought, he ain't fought nobody in the middleweight division. That's all, that's all I'm saying. You know, so. Shit, you know. Oh, uh, William, what you say? For me? He say Jamal sitting, sitting, setting, setting, setting on his hands. Oh, you mean he's sitting on his hands? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Um, it's dope. You say both Charlos. 
I for sure want to see Harrison Charlo 3. Yeah, I would not. I'm not going to lie. I, I ain't going to lie. Tony Harrison made, made a big fan out of me, but I remember when Tony Harrison, I remember Tony Harrison made Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo cry. He had Jamel Charlo crying, man, at the press conference, man. Because Jamel Charlo could not talk Tony Harrison. He could not talk him. He could not talk him. He could not talk him, man. So, you know, hey, what you say, Nancy? Nancy say fat coach, facts coach. Yeah, he got robbed. He definitely got robbed. He de hey, listen, I ain't trying to be funny. But he definitely got robbed, boy. They robbed him without a pistol. What'd he say? It's, he say, it's male resume hot dude, dude. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on now, Blast. Now, you know Jamel Charlo. That's, don't be talking bad about Jamel Charlo now. Blast, don't be talking bad about Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo got a good resume. Let, let's pull up Jamel Charlo. I got shit. I got mail right here. I got mail. What you, I don't know what you're talking about, Blast. I got mail right here. Shoot, let me, hey, hey that's blasting me right there. Hold on, you talk bad, talk bad about my dog like that, like like that now. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, bless. Um, okay, check it out. Let's look at let's look at let's look at Jamel Tallo. Jamel Tallo. We 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 gonna get him up here to where he went. We gonna get him up here to where he was fighting smoke, right? We ain't gonna 2014, 15. He really wanna fight nobody. He fight John Jackson. Stopped him in the stop stop John Jackson in the uh stop John Jackson in the eighth round. Um, Charles Hatley. But let's get up here. He stopped Erickson Lubin. He stopped Erickson Lubin. Stopped him, right? In the first round. I think he, I think he, yeah, yeah, he, he, he slept Erickson Lubin. He, he stopped Erickson Lubin, right? Then he fought Austin Trout. Beat Austin Trout in the majority decision. Then he fought Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison boxed, 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 Tony Harrison boxed, boxed his head off. You know what I mean? I had to, I, I kind of thought that um, Jamel won the fight first looking at it because he was landing some harder shots. But then when I looked at, when I looked at the fight the second time, I saw how Tony Harrison was, you know, was you know, really was setting traps for um, Jamel Tallow. Jamel Tallow was fighting real tight. He was loading up on his shots and stuff like that. Fighting real tight, loading up on his shots. And I was able to see clearly, y'all, see what the judges saw. He lost, he lost, the, um, he lost in the unanim in a unanimous decision. All three judges gave the fight to Tony Harrison. So a unanimous decision. Jamel, Jamel Tallow felt like he got robbed. Then he came back and fought Jorge Cota. He stopped him in the third. Then he fought Tony Harrison again. He stopped him in the 11th round. And then he fought um, Nelson Rosario. So he got his belt back. I think he lost his belt. He got his belt back. He got some get back. Then he fought Nelson. Um, um, he fought Jensen Rosario. You know what I mean? And then he became the unified champion. He got the IBF and the WBA title, right? And then um, I think he got the ring too. I think he got the ring too, if I'm not mistaken. And then he fought Brian Castaño. You see what I'm saying? They fought back to back and he got the belt. So if you ask me, uh, Jamel, Mel, Mel, Mel Tallo, a resume don't look that bad. Um, bless, especially his last, his last like five or six fights. You get what I'm saying? He said, he said, Big Charlo waiting on a lottery pick. <laughs> hey, Kip Dunn. Hey, look here, man. He, he, he ain't gonna get that Canelo fight, man. Hey, listen. Uh, shout out to Mister. What you say, fam? You say I'm high coach. I like Fandora. But uh, but going the distance with that guy that got stopped by Errol Spence isn't a good look for him. He say, uh, don't think he's ready for Jamel. Still want to see him fight. Yeah, wait. Well, listen, if he want the smoke, he need to get it. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna tell you something, fam. He did. He did earn his right to get there. He did earn his right. He did earn his right to get the shot. Get a shot at that. You get what I'm saying? So I do want to see him get a shot. Hey, we need. Uh, we we need um 60 likes. No, we need 70 likes. Damn, we need 70 more likes. Um, hey, <laughs> bless his uh simmering doo doo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, bless. What a bless, boy. Bless. Hey, hey, bless. Hey, bless. Come on now. Come on, bless. Bless. Come on now. God dang. Now. Hey, Jamel, 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 Jamel resume. Jamel resume pretty good. Jamel, you know what, bless. You got to put some respect on my dog name, too. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll oh, drill y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't going to say it no more. Put some respect on my name. That's all I'm saying, bless. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is this here. <coughs> Jamel, I don't think nobody got no problem with Jamel. Um, Jamel, I don't think nobody got a problem with Jamel. You know, hey, 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 uh, hey, hey PBC Center, what to say, fam? You say, bless. Girl, why you hate? Yeah, she hate number dog. <laughs> hey, bless, bless hate number dog. Bless hate number dog. She hate dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, she said, okay, let me leave the African-American stud alone. <laughs> you know what, though, bless? You know what, though, bless? I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. Even though that Jamal, Jamel Talo don't get the respect that I feel that he deserves, you know what I mean? That, you know, he just got to keep working. 
He got to keep working, bless. He just got to keep working, okay? It's nothing that he can do to change other people's minds. There's nothing that I can do. Sorry, I moved my, my camera. That's nothing that I can do other than just be patient, let these boys keep talking that smack, and me be who I am. Damn. Oh, no, my father. I mean, my, my, my bad. Look. You get what I'm saying? That's all that, that, that that's all it is. You know what I mean? That's nothing my dog can do. Nothing he can do. You see what I'm saying? Nothing he can do. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, international Africans. It is what it is, man. It is. <laughs> now, you know, I ain't going to say nothing bad about Jamal Charlo. I ain't going to say nothing bad about Jamal Charlo now because I don't want the Jamal, I don't want the Jamal Charloites out there getting all getting mad and 38 hot at the old buddy. You know, they like to get mad and 38 hot at me, man. They get mad at me. They want to attack me. They say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Charlo hater, a PBC hater, all that stuff. That, you know how sensitive those guys get. When I sit here and I say, dog, listen, we're looking strictly at his resume. We're looking strictly at the resume. When I talk, when I point out the level of competition, you know, the Jamal Charlo defenders, they shy totally away from the level of competition. They can't sit back and say, they'll say, yeah, man, you know, man, uh, Canelo ducked him. Canelo didn't want to fight him. I said, okay, what about Demetrius Andrade? Oh, man, well, Demetrius Andrade didn't deserve a shot at him. I say, isn't it the duty of a champion to want to fight the other champions in, in, in the division in order to become a um, unified champion? You do know that this guy has, hasn't fought one champion since he's been in the middleweight division. You do know that, right? So I be hitting them with facts, and they, they and they be talking about their feelings. Oh, man, I'm from Houston, man. You don't be talking about Jamal Tano like that. I'm from Texas, dog. We know, we, you don't talk. I say, dog, look, this ain't got nothing to do about where you're from. Okay, you're from Texas. What about, what about, what about this dude ain't fighting nobody? You talking about he from Texas? That ain't him. That ain't got nothing to do with boxing skills and level of level of op, level of competition, level of competition. That ain't got nothing to do. He he, he from Texas. Who cares? <laughs> I don't give a damn. He from I don't give a damn. He from uh, I don't care if he from um, he, he 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 from the planet Pluto. Well, he ain't fighting nobody, man. That's all I'm saying. You know, you, you got to have a better game plan than waiting on Canelo. I move up in weight class, go up to 168, challenge this man for. All the marbles. The Mexican mo monster, yeah. The Mexican. You keep throwing that up every time I... Yeah, I remember the guy was everybody scared of that guy. You talk a lot of shit. That's all I want you to say. <laughs> Dunn Dada say, but what level of competition is Mel fought? He fought twice to a B-level fighter. Jamel Talo is the is, is is undisputed um, junior middleweight champion of the world. Like, <laughs> he fought all the top guys. He fought, he fought the top guys in his division. He is a, he is the undisputed champion of the world, like bro, like I, woo, I don't, woo, Lord have mercy, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know where you coming from with that. That man is the junior. That man, is, shout out to Bruce Gas. That man is, is the undisputed champion of the world. Fought all the top guys in his division. Fought the top guys who had the belt. Fought other champions in it, and he fought other champions in the, in the division. He fought the other champions. I mean, goddamn, what 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 else you want him to do? What what he got to do? You get what I'm saying? Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Teddy. Teddy, he say Teddy Brooks shot. He say, uh, he say cold, so cold. Uh, true, uh, true Pocharlos. Okay. He say he lost twice to B and C level fighters. Who said it was B and C level fighters? He lost to uh, he lost to, he lost to uh, he lost to uh, Tony Harrison. Wait, he lost, he lost twice. Hold on, you say he lost twice? Hold on, let me see something. I mean, he ain't got but one loss. Where, where he lost twice at? Let me see how many losses. Let me see how many losses Jamel Tallow got. I don't think Jamel Tallow. Jamel Tallow, 35 and 1. What, what, the, what, the hell, what you talking about? He lost twice. He 35 and 1. Um, unless, unless, unless you, unless you doing, unless you doing some different kind of math. Yeah, unless you doing, unless you doing some different kind of math. I don't know what kind of math that is, you know. But you know, last time I checked, he ain't got but one loss. But anyways, yeah, we we, we totally disagree on that, man. We totally disagree on that. I don't know. The man, the man is an undisputed. The man is an undisputed champion. <laughs> got all the belts. He got all the belts. There's no dispute about that. Ah, <sighs> anyway.
Anyways, um, uh, so Dundada, who, 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 yo, who, yo, who, uh, which, uh, which fighter is impressing you? Who your favorite fighter is? Please let me know who your favorite fighter is. Oh, you know, cause you, I, you know, shit, he undisputed. And la la last time I checked, last time I checked, now I ain't the smartest guy in the world, but you know, my GED education tell me, last time I checked, there's, uh, uh, eight undisputed champions in the four belt era. And one guy really got it the hard way. One of those guys. Uh, and that's two guys who fought the champions in their division in order to become undisputed. I, I mean, I mean, they fought, they fought several guys who were champions to become undisputed. Jamel Charlo was one. Uh, I'm, I'm saying recently, in the recent years, and um, the recent couple of years. Josh Taylor is another one. And um, Canelo Alvarez is another one. Uh, hey, not that 305 said Bakonda Mav, coach. Yeah, that gotta be that gotta be Bakonda Mav. That, that had to be Bakonda Mav. He, he say, then he say, then he got knocked out in the rematch. Are you talking about Brian Castano? Yeah, Brian Castano got put to sleep. He said, I think Brian Castano beat him. He should have been undisputed. Okay, but guess what? Won. Brian Castano had a second time to become undisputed. What happened? You get what I'm saying? I get what you I get what you're saying, fam. You think Brian Castano won the first fight? Fine. The judges ruled to the draw. Nothing wrong with that. But guess what? Brian Castaño had a second time to become undisputed. What happened? True, true, true. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, bless is this. Bless, all I'm saying is this here. You're right. You could say, okay, Brian Castaño, he won the first fight. Fine. Guess what? Why he ain't win the second fight? What happened in the second fight? He got knocked out. The boy got put to sleep. He said, Burp Charlos ain't fault on Laura, Laura and her. Okay. You, oh, and, you, and you saying all that to say what? <laughs> he said, all I'm saying is a lot of uh, PBC champs are smoking mirrors. Yeah, it, guess what? It's some fighters that you like probably smoking mirrors too, if you feel that way. I'm pretty sure some, I'm pretty sure some fighters that you like smoking mirrors. Pretty sure of that. But I don't, I don't, I don't, me personally, I don't think Jamil Charlo smoking me. He fought, he fought Brian Castaño, and that Brian Castaño got his ass put to sleep. That's what we do know. We do know. First fight was a draw. Some people felt Castaño won. Some people felt uh, Jamil Charlo won. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. What we do know is Brian Castaño had, a, had an opportunity to come back in there. And, and since you thought he won the fight, he had an opportunity to win it again. Guess what happened? His ass got put to sleep. True, true, true. Buckle twice. That's what happened. That's what happened. You know, so. You ain't going. Yeah, you ain't going to hear me talk trash about no. You know, no, no, no. Dudes who undisputed. I'm like, hey man, the man won all the belts, man. He won all the belts in this division. Like, what can I say? And those guys actually fought multiple champions in order to become undisputed. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, uh let's see. I am Dwayne. What did you say? He said, wait. They kind of Castano, and he had a rematch and got knocked out. Y'all, he said, y'all need to let that shit go. <laughs> hey, they don't want to let it go, boy. Hey, hey I am the way. They, they don't want to let it go, boy. They don't want to let it You know, but well, see, Brian, he almost caught him. I said, okay, well, okay, all right, man. Let's say I run, let's say I run with you there. Let's say I run with that, right? Okay, fine. I run with that. Why he, okay, why he knock him, why, 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 why Brian Castano ain't beat him in the second fight? It was, I'm going to tell you something, bro. It was a lot of people that was upset. It was a lot of people that was upset that, that Jamel Tallow beat Brian Castano. They was upset about that. A lot of people upset about that. A lot of people upset about that. I like, man, the boy got put to sleep. If he wanted to win, he shouldn't have got knocked out. He say they emphasize Loma's losses, so why I can't emphasize male losses? The problem is this here. I don't know who the they is you're talking about, Dundada, but check this out. Jamel Charlo don't have losses. That's where you're wrong at. See, where you're wrong at is this. You're trying to put losses on Jamel Charlo that he don't have. The man only have one loss. So if you want to emphasize his loss, you can emphasize his loss to Tony Harrison. You can do that. That's all fair game. 
but you say losses plural there's no plural with um there's no plural with Jamel Chalo he's only have singular one loss so that so that blow up that so that blow you up right there right that blow you up right there there's nothing wrong with you um emphasizing Jamel Chalo's loss to Tony Harrison there's nothing wrong with that but you got to acknowledge the fact that he's undisputed he's an undisputed champion and he fought multiple champions in order to get there there's nothing you're going to say that's going to change that that's nothing that you're going to say that's going to change that, fam. Nothing. Uh, shout out to Mata King Boston. He said, catch the, he said, he, he said, catch the body. On, he, said, he, said, he said, catch the body on the Sunday, coach. Uh, Carlos, what you say? You say, uh, you say, you say, little Charlo is the real deal, coach. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, 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 Jamel, Jamel, Jamel is the real deal. He's the real deal. Jamel, Jamel, Jamel Tallow is the real deal. He's a real deal. I tell you what, though, I definitely want to see you got Tim Zoo fighting Jamel Tallow in January. Hopefully that fight happens. Hey, we need 43 likes. We need 43 likes to get to 200. Um, we need to get the likes up. Um, hopefully that fight happens. Well, you know what? It should happen. And then Sebastian Fondora is, is the uh Sebastian Fondora, he is the uh the WBC, you know, he's the WBC intern champion. So so Jamel Tallo is going to have a lot of a lot. He's going to have his hands full. He could just fight his mandatories. When you are, uh, when you are the undisputed champion, you got all the belts. You know, if you're going to keep those belts, the duty of the champion is to what? Defend your title against all comers. Defend your titles plural against all comers. That's the duty of a champion. That's the duty of a champion. Uh. Shout out to I am Dwayne. You say it's okay not to like Charlo. Hell, I don't like. I don't. I, he said I don't like some. I don't like some. I don't like some fighters too. But where's the integrity in making up facts uh, just to have a false argument? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. I mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, I get it. I, I trust me. I do get it. I do get it. You know what I mean? Um, that is what it is. When you don't, when you don't like somebody. You know what I mean? You got to try to add shit to the plate. I get. I get what you're saying, but you know. It, it, it's you know, it, it, it has nothing to do with the reality. Uh, shout out to William Posey. He's, he he said he said I like he said I like he said I like Jamel at 160. You know what? Um, Jamel, I'm pretty sure Jamel wants to move up to 160, but his brother is there. I think he should just go ahead and move up there anyways, right? Because him because one him and Jamal Tall are not going to fight each other. Him and Jamal Tall are not going to fight each other. You get what I'm saying? So we do know that. Um, he said, I like he said I like the Charlos, but they need signature wins. <laughs> wow, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh shout out to Mata King. He said he said, call in. You gotta explain explain in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you know I'm done. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I'm at a I'm at a loss of words on that one. Okay, I'm at a loss of words on that one. Now, boy, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Um, uh, I mean, say I thought Charlo lost the first fight, one fifteen, one thirteen, but regardless, he came back and destroyed Castano, and he stopped Harrison in the rematch as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, PBC Central, he said undisputed belts don't mean nothing, coach. Hey man, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, it is what it is. Um, anyways, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like. These sanctioning bodies, guys. We know these sanctioning bodies are crooked. We know the sanctioning bodies are controlled by the um, promotional companies. Every last one of them. The IBF, WBO, WBA, WBC. I'm anxious and curious to find out if and will the sanctioning bodies, uh, if and will the sanctioning bodies uh, mandate these intern fights. I'm anxious. I'm anxious to see that. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm anxious to see that. Um, I want to see Jamel Talo fight. Tim Tim Zoo. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen though. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. 
And I tell you guys this all the time. And this isn't this is this isn't anything, right? When you don't like a fighter, and this is this isn't any sports. This isn't anything. It has nothing, really nothing to do with boxing. It can happen in anything, right? Or this is just how people are in general. How people are in general. When you don't, but in box, we're just gonna say in boxing. If someone doesn't like a fighter, no matter what. A lot of times they are devoid of objectivity. I'm just saying anybody. I'm not talking to anyone in particular, right? And I'm going to tell you something my mother taught me a long time ago. She says, son, if somebody don't like you, there's nothing that you can do to make them like you. In boxing, where does that go at? If you don't like a certain fighter, whether it's Canelo, whether it's Jamel Tallo, whether it's Jamal Tallo, whether it's Devin Haney, whether it's Lomachenko, whatever the case may be, guess what? That's nothing that you're going to say to that individual to make them like your fighter. I know Dundad is a, is a, is a diehard uh, Lomachenko fan. I know that. I get it. I understand. I get it. Trust me, I get it. I, I get your anger. I get where you're coming from, right? But I am of the opinion, just my opinion, Jamal Tallo can fight Tim Zoo and beat him. There will be those out there say, oh, man, he ain't fought nobody. Tim Zoo ain't nobody. I am of the opinion that he can fight Sebastian Fundora and beat him. I'm just hypotheticals, right? Oh, man, Fundora was a hype job, right? Um, all I'm saying is you have what you call old goalpost moving ass niggas. No matter what you do, we're going to continue to move the goalpost. You got to fight King Kong, beat him. All right, well, King Kong, he was old. Uh, you got to fight Godzilla, beat him. Man, Godzilla, he couldn't spit radiation from his mouth like he did back in the day. You got to fight He-Man, beat him. Oh, man, He-Man, 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 uh, He-Man was get, just got through working out the day before. You got to fight, um, you got to fight Megatron, beat him. Oh, man, Megatron was, I, I miss Prime's leftovers. So, you know, that's, that's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. Um, uh, Jason Mones is in the building. I would not acknowledge you, Jason Mones. You got to do better than that, fam. You, you got to do better than that, fam. Jason Mones, you will not get acknowledged. You and these funk ass two dollars, old two dollar ass nigga. I know you're broke, Jason. I know you're broke. I know you're broke. You're shooting better than the broke. Didn't you shooting bad? I, what, what that Nick sack? At? I got a Nick sack over here for you, Jason. What a Nick? I got the Nick sack right here. You shout, Jason. You shout. Not short, shout. You want you want a, you want this Nick sack, Jason. Guess what you're gonna have to do, Jason. You got you're gonna have to put you gonna have to put a little bit more, more a little bit more than that, right? Them them little them little funky two dollars. Y'all 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 don't have to y'all don't have to time out Jason Mones. You don't have to time him out. Don't time Jason Mones out. Don't time him out. Y'all ain't got time him out. Uh he said you made Jason Moan, coach. He want that Nick sack. Yeah, he got to do better than that. You know what? Jason, go ahead. You, if you want this Nick sack, you're going to have to give me a dub for a Nick sack. <laughs> true, true, true. Hey, you're going to have to give me a dub for a Nick sack. You're going to have to, you're going to have to give me a dub for, uh, you're going to have to give me a dub on this Nick sack. <laughs> Cause you, you, I, th I think you lame enough to do that. Hey man, hey man, hey, hey, I need a Nick sack. Can I, can Hey, um, hey, you got some fat Nick sack? Yeah, hey, listen, dog, take this out, big boy. I got some Nick sacks over here, dog. Nothing but shake and stems and seeds. And this Nick sack right here, we got shake, stems, and seeds. How much that Nick sack cost? Oh, it costs $20. <laughs> true, true, true. $20, $20 for a Nick sack. Yeah, dog, I got them fat Nick sacks, dog. $20, dog, $20, dog, fat Nick sacks. Jason Moles, I got them fat Nick sacks for you, dog. $20 for a Nick sack. Yo, oh, you're gonna love this one here. This is some of the finest Reggie that you ever gonna get. Not only that is Reggie, but it has shake in it, it has seeds and stems. You're gonna be smoking good. <laughs> hey, he said Jason Moe stop coming. Jason Moe, Jason Moe's a pain for you. He like it. He like it. He like it. He like the abuse. He like the abuse. Uh yeah, man. Hey, he gotta pay a dub for this Nick Sack over here. Uh, shout out to uh, hey, we need 28 likes, 28 more likes, 28 more likes. Shout out to WCS, man, World Comeback Sports, man. Salute to you, fam. But yeah, back to what I was saying, though, right? In that, um, uh, 
And this is the thing, right? A lot of people think, a lot of people really think that I don't like Jamal Tallo. I like Jamal Tallo a lot, a lot, dog. A lot of people think I don't like Jamal Tallo. But, dog, that ain't it. It's like, dude, too much is given, much is required. If you're going to tell me this dude, uh, Matilla Gorilla, uh, Solomon Grundy, you're going to tell me this dude is uh, dark side, you're going to tell me he, uh, he, uh, the Legion of Doom, yeah, then well, he, he, he can't be, you know, and, I, and when I look at his resume, I say the dude been fighting for 14 years, and I don't see nothing like that. Y'all still talking about he fought J-Rock. He fought J-Rock back in 1972. He fought J-Rock. That's all they keep telling me. You know what I mean? You know, that, that, like, like, that's their one. That, that's their one. That's the one they go to. They keep talking about J-Rock. I'm like, dog, that, okay, uh, who else he fought after that? He fought J-Rock. Okay, who he fought in 2016? He fought J-Rock. Who he fought in 2017? He fought J-Rock. Who do you know? Like, that, that, that's, that's their go-to guy. J-Rock. I'm like, man, goddamn, man. Uh, and you get what I'm saying? I'm like, goddamn. Hey, he's <laughs> worldwide say East Coast. Hey, man, and, and, you, know, you know it's inflation. You know it's inflation. It's inflation, so I got to charge $20 for a Nick sack. It's inflation, dog. The country doing bad. It's inflation. You know what I mean? Gas prices high. The dollar don't lost its value by a lot. The Fed printing money left and right. It's inflation, dog. If you want to get a Nick sack, it's going to cost you $20. $20 for a Nick sack. $20, 20, $20 for a Nick sack. That's all I'm saying. And uh, uh, William Posey, he said if he fought Boo Boo, he might have had that Canelo money. I don't know. All I'm saying is I'm not an advocate of, and I'm saying this even for Crawford. Even, I'm saying it for Crawford too, so I'm, so I'm keeping the same energy. I'm not an advocate for sitting around waiting on one guy. I'm not an advocate of that. We're going to sit around and wait on one guy. I want to fight Spence. I want to fight Spence. Oh, man, and then Floyd Mayweather will come out and tell you the fight ain't happening right now. And, you know, maybe it'll happen. Maybe I'm hearing, uh, maybe it'll happen. I want to fight Spence. Maybe it'll happen. I'm hearing all of that there. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, you're going to sit around and wait or you're going to fight somebody else. Ain't no telling when that's going to happen. And and, and as, it relate, as it relate to Jamal Chalo, I'm like, dude, you ain't had a fight. You ain't had a fight since 1979. When you fought one, you fought one motel. You know what I mean? And 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 um, Adonis knocked him out in three. You went life and death with him. You get what I'm saying? Adonis knocked him out in three. Um, the, the boy from Houston, Texas, uh, went life and death with him. So my criticism of my brother is really that of frustration. That's all. <sighs> That's all I'm saying. Hey, what you say, Carlos? You say, I don't know how Charlo went 12. <laughs> hey. True, true, true. Bro, bro, bro with your neck. Like, I'm like, you went 12 rounds with him? How you went, bro, how you went 12 rounds? How you went 12 rounds with Mont Montiel? And Montiel hurt him to the body. And Montiel hurt him to the body. And Monty, I heard it to the body. Hold on, I, hold on, I want to, hold on. It's something I want to show you guys. I, hold on, because I, I want you guys to know I've been saying this. This is what I've been saying. Something I want to show you guys. Hold on. Something I want to show you guys. Something, something I want to show you guys. Where he at? Uh, where he at? Where's Timothy Bradley? And I showed it, and I showed it in the video, right? I showed it in the video. Hold on, hold on. I showed it, I showed it, I showed it in my video. I dropped. You know, I dropped the video yesterday. I advise y'all to check it out. Hold on, let's, let me go right here. Let me, let me pull up Timothy Bradley. And I, and guess what? I'm saying the same thing. I was saying the same thing. Y'all remember I did the show? Uh, hold on. Remember I did the show? I was saying that, hey, man, Crawford and Spence, since they're not going to fight each other right now, ain't no telling when that's going to happen, what year, what planet um, it's going to happen on. Maybe it'll happen two, three years from now. Who knows? Um, and I was saying, and I remember I dropped the video December the 16th, 2021. I showed the receipts. I said, listen, man, uh, Crawford, you need to move on, man. The boy, the, uh, the boy don't want to fight you. That's what I said. I said, the boy don't want to fight you. Now I'm hearing that the boy do want to fight him, but whatever the reason may be, the fight ain't going down. So I'm past Crawford and Spence. But in this video, I said that I saw, I did a show, and I said that um y'all remember the show? I said man that um 
Um, and I was advocating for Virgil Ortiz and Bruce Ennis. I said, they deserve a shot, dog. They deserve a shot. And I said, Crawford and Spence is doing what? Holding up the welterweight division. He's holding up the welterweight division. I said, Crawford and Spence are holding up the welterweight division. It's not fair to Bruce Ennis and, to, and um, uh, Bruce Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, man, they ain't ready for Crawford and Spence. Man, I don't want to hear that. No, they ready. They ready. You know, because I don't believe in putting no fighters in the witness protection program. No, no, them young niggas ready. They, they deserve a shot at the title. Everybody sitting around waiting. Everybody in the welterweight division waiting to see if these, if, if these two niggas going to fight each other. Crawford and Spence. Guess what? There's no fight. We know that. Facts. Right? So let, let's continue, though. Let's see what Timothy Bradley had to say. Before we get excited about it. But until then, I've kind of just let just Listen this. it play out, you know, because uh, sometimes the, the best thing to do is, is just to just let it play out. Just don't even let's not talk about it. Let's not bring it up. Just. I, 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 I do not own rights to this materials for educational purposes only. Let it play out, you know, because we get our hopes up and then, you know, uh, of course, again, then they, they destroy, they destroy us, you know, oh, the fight's not going to happen until next year. So if we just forget about it <laughs> and just wait until what happens and once they announce it and they're actually in the ring, that's when we get excited about it. But until then, I've kind of just let, just let off that fight, just whatever it's going to have. I, I know the fight's going to happen. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the thing that that kind of sucks to listen me to this about the whole situation is, is that we have some young talent that I that I believe in the division that have earned their right to fight for those belts, man. And they're being kind of handcuffed at the moment because for for whatever reason, with negotiations with this big fight. Uh, now you get now you heard what Timothy Bradley say. He said, he said, the unfortunate thing is this. I'm going to let y'all hear it again. Did, hey, what, ha, haven't I been saying that over here? I got receipts what I said. We just did a show about what? Two weeks ago. I, I got receipts what I said. I've been saying the same thing. You got two dudes holding up a whole entire weight division. That's what I've been saying. Okay. Y'all fight the young guns since, 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 since they are your number ones, right? Fight the young guns. And then get by them if you can. And then after you fight the young guns and get by them, okay, don't be holding up an entire weight division. So, anyways. I'm an advocate for if a guy is a champion, you need to fight the next guy. Um... Fight the, your mandatories. I'm an advocate of that. And we need 16 more likes, 16 more likes in order to get to 200. Um, I'm an I'm a advocate of that. I'm an advocate for that. I don't believe in protecting fighters. I don't believe in witness protection program. You will never hear me. Come, I, I, listen, I don't believe in duck language. If you're saying, oh, man, my fighter don't need to fight him. That jitterbug, he ain't ready. Yeah, he's the number one contender, but he ain't fought nobody yet. I said, guess what? It's your fighter, somebody. Yeah, my fighter, one of the best in the division. I said, okay, since you're saying that this guy that's the number one contender in the mandatory, he haven't fought anybody yet. Guess what? When he fight your fighter, that you say that's somebody, would you consider your fighter somebody? Yeah, I consider my fighter somebody. Okay, they need to fight. Oh, no, man, they don't, they don't need to fight my fighter. So, see, all oh, that's duck language. I don't believe in duck language. I don't believe in duck language. <clears throat> I don't listen. I don't believe in he ain't ready yet. My fighter don't need to fight him. I don't believe in promotional politics, wrong side of the street. I don't believe in hiding behind financial advisors and promoters. I don't believe in this guy. He ain't ready, but he got to fight. He got to fight King Kong, Godzilla, Mothra, Gamera. Voltron, Ultraman, Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk, Optimus Prime, Megatron. He got to fight all of them first before he can get to my fighter. When your fighter ain't fighting none of those guys. No, this guy's the number one contender. He's the Mando. Or his, or, or the Mando will be coming up. These saints in the bodies need to mandate these fights and make these dudes, um, make these dudes um, shit to get off the pot. I don't believe in protecting fighters. I don't speak duck language. No, sir. If your fighter is who he say he is, if is who you say he is, guess what? Got a jitterbug right there waiting. 
Ain't no need of the jitterbug right there. Shout out to Derrick James. Shout out to Derrick James, man. Shout out to Derrick. DJ, what's going on, fam? You get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is the jitterbug right there, fam. Shout out to DJ, man. DJ, what's going on, bro? What's going on, homie? Oh, that's my homie, man. That's my homie from Temple. What's going on, homie? You know, you know I'm back in the city. <laughs> you know I'm back in the city, man. But you get what I'm saying, though. I don't believe, I don't believe in babysitting fighters. Jitterbugs wait. I don't believe in babysitting the fighters. Period. Um, I believe that if your fighter is who you say he is, he you say he wants to smoke, they need to get a ring and fight each other. Simple as that. All that other stuff, I, I ain't, I, I ain't with all, all the duck language and the shucky ducky. I, I don't believe in that. Pooh Dillon, what do you say? He say Eva Loma in the crowd. Hey, look here, man. Right, listen, now that Shakur Stevenson done moved up, shout out to Elijah. Now that Shakur Stevenson done moved up uh, to 135, hopefully we'll, we'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. Uh, he say all who say they won't smoke don't want it. Uh, not all. Not, not, uh, not, not all. Not all. Not all of them. Some of the dudes who say they want to the smoke, they really want to smoke. Some of the dudes who want to smoke, say they want to the smoke, they really want it. Some of the dudes say they want to smoke, I really want to smoke. They really want it. See what I'm saying? That's what this boxing thing is all about. This boxing thing all about all the top fighters fighting the top fighters, period. But the, uh, all the other stuff, you know what I mean? Well, I want to see, uh, I want to see if Devin Haney can beat George Campbell. So I, I want to see that fight, uh, uh, Devin Haney versus, uh, versus, uh, versus uh, 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 Lomachenko. I want to see that fight. Show enough, do. Lomachenko said he wanted to become undisputed. If Devin Haney can win, Beat George Camposo, guess what? It ain't but one way he gonna do it. He gotta fight, he gotta fight on Devin Haney. And they're on the same side of the street, so it should be no problem. No promotional politics, none of that. Uh, no promotional politics, none of that. We should see that fight. The Chiefs asked, he said, is, is Spence ducking Crawford? Um, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we ain't got no fight. That's all I know. All I know, all I know is, all I know is, this is what I do know. I can't say, I don't know if he ducking or not ducking. What I will say is this here. <sighs> Wrong side of the street is gone. Check. Bob Aaron blocking the fight, that's gone. Check. You with ESPN, I with Showtime and Fox, that's gone. Promotion the networks. Check. Wrong side of the street. Bar blocking. Networks. You ain't, you know, you ain't fought nobody. You got to get a belt first. Got a belt. Check. Why don't I take the easy road first? All right. Check. Um, if you want to fight, you got to come on our side of the street and get the fight. He, you got to leave Bob Barham. Left Bob Barham. Check. Um. You gotta come and make the fight with us. Talk to Al, talk to Al Heyman directly. Left, make, left, left, knocking on the door. That's gone. Talk to Al, right? Check. We still ain't got no fight. True, true, true. Oh yo, yeah. oh now you ain't no draw. You not a pay per view star. Your baby mama ain't bow legged. Your cousin don't know how to do the butterfly. Your auntie don't know how to smoke weed. Crawford too dark skin to fight. Uh, 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 uh. He too dark skin to fight Errol Spence. He got to find a rapper to be booed up with. Nah, that, that, that's what I do know. We still ain't got no fight. True, true, true. So, I'm in the bottom line business. 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20. Take whatever we give you. I, 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 no problem, no problem. I take whatever you give me. Uh, we still ain't got no fight. So, I'm, so as of right now, Virgil Ortiz, Jerron Ennis, Stanley Onis, they're up next. They're, they, they're up next. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, y'all got to do something, man. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Shit. Hey, bless say, uh, PBC said 80 20. Sign the cut. Hey, we got the contract right here, man. We got the contract right here. I got it. We got the contract right here, man. 
We got the contract right here. Anybody want to smoke? What? I, I, I listen. I, t I tell you who want all the smoke. I tell you who want all the smoke. He ain't ducking no smoke. I tell you who ain't ducking no smoke right here. This is a contract right here. Hippity, hippity contractual terms. 80% goes to hippity. 20% goes to the challenger. Sign the contract where the X is at, right? Newbity, Newbity Today USA Promotions. And the signature on the CEO of the company down. We want all the smoke. I can tell you we want the smoke. I can tell. And I got the contract right here. Sign the contract. Oh, pussy ass nigga, what's going on, boy? I'm telling you, boy, I'm knocking your fuck ass out, boy. Blow for blow, pound for pound, nigga. I got I got the title, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, I'm finna knock one of you what kind of niggas out. Nigga, I got these hands, nigga. I'm throwing them paws at that nigga. Finna knock ass down again, nigga. Get your ass back up, nigga. Don't run, nigga. Don't run, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, I want all the smoke. Nigga, I'm throwing them paws, nigga. I'm putting my hands on you, nigga. I told you what I'm gonna do to you, nigga. Catch you with the check left hook. Nigga, check left hook, nigga. I told you, boy, pound for pound, nigga. I'm the best. This more action than any Devin Haney fight. Put these paws on you, nigga. I told you, I got you backing up, nigga. I got you backing up. Nigga, watch that check left foot, knock your ass down again, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, it is what it is, nigga. I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm telling you, boy, we ain't even playing over here, boy. <laughs> hey, see, see, listen, listen, we throw my, my fighters throw paws. We I mean we we ain't we ain't faking the funk. When my fighters say they want the smoke, they want the smoke, dog. So my fighters want the smoke. I can tell you that right now. Ain't no shucking and diving over here. No shucking and jiving over here, boy. We want the smoke over here. Oh, Lord, I swear to God, when I see that whole ass nigga coach Malachi Wiz, I'm going to put them paws on him. Nigga, Wakanda forever, bitch. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, he threw Wakanda through that fence. Wakanda is dead. Oh, Lord. Hey, it's actually, we, hey, it's actually, hey, 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 oh, that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And, and, and my fighters are enrolled in Vada. They enrolled in Vada. We are all part of the clean boxing program, so you ain't got to worry about us popping dirty. <laughs> hey, they ain't got to worry about us. They ain't got to worry about us popping dirty. They ain't got to wait. Hey, we we are enrolled in the clean boxing program, my, but we ain't got to worry about hippity and, and kangaroo jack. I told him what kind of nigga sipping at the Chick Fil A. The nigga said he wanted some. He wanted the smoke. I told him I wanted all the smoke. Get off the table, nigga. I'm finna slam you. Mm, slam him on his neck, nigga. Get back up. I told you what time it is. You wanna wallow? Let's wallow. I told you I can wallow. I'm strong, boy. I'm strong. I'm finna take it to the rocks. I'm finna slam you again. Put you on your back. Put you on your back. One more again. Mm, slam him again. Get back up, Wakanda. I told you I ain't even playing with it, boy. You wanna throw them paws? Let throw them paws. I told you, boy. Finna go up under. Finna roll you on your neck again. One more again. Mm. Oh no, the nigga try to run. Don't run, nigga. Don't run. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. We want the smoke. <laughs> hey, bless. We ain't playing now. We ain't playing. Hey, hey, we ain't playing. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Could I make 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 a fight? See, could I make a fight with top rank? Somebody over there, top rank. Maybe we can get. Maybe we can get the top rank fighters. We can get the top rank fighters. Uh. Yeah, we gonna. Yeah, we gonna. Uh. Yo, the top rank fighter, we gonna we gonna, we we gonna make it do what it do, dog. The top rank fighter, we gonna we you get what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, she say she say man, he say man, put the rules in the ring. That's all I'm saying, dog. That's all I'm saying. We we want all the smoke over here. We want all the smoke over here. We we ain't doing no decking now. We ain't doing no decking. I, I can tell you that right now, boy. Anybody anybody can get it. Top rank can get it. PBC can get it. Match room can get it. Queensberry can get it. Don't it don't make no never mind to me, bro. Canelo can get it. You know, he, he, he listen. Tell him, tell Canelo to sign the contract. Uh, Devin Haney can get it. Shakur Stevenson can get it. Chocolatito can get it. Ben Rodriguez, Errol Spence can get it. Crawford can get it. We ain't ducking no smoke over here. We ain't ducking no smoke over here, boy. I'm telling you. Hey, guess what? <laughs> hey, guess what? We it might. Hey, you know what? Shit, I don't know, bro. Hey, that, hey, that fight. Hey, uh, we put hippity, we put hippity in the ring. Uh, hey, guess what? And, and, and tell and tell Al Heyman, we ain't we ain't taking no back end money now. We need ours up front. We need I, we need our money like Canelo. When Canelo went went over there to the PBC, he got them forty million guaranteed. Guess what? We need our money on the front, dog. We we listen. We need guaranteed money, dog. We ain't we ain't doing that back end, dog. We ain't doing that back end. Uh, L Harvey, what you say? Family say, Coach, love them kangaroos. That's all I'm saying, dog. The kangaroos in the rap. Yeah, we we want the smoke over here, boy. We ain't doing no ducking and dodging, no shucking and jiving. It is what it is. Sign the contract. I got the contract right here. As a matter of fact, hippity don't sign. Matter of fact, hippity don't sign. You know what I mean? Hippity don't sign. Hippity name, hippity, hippity name right here. Hippity name on the contract. <laughs> hippity, hippity don't sign. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hey. Hey, uh, Kevin, Kevin say, do those kangaroos have a rematch clause? Yeah, we got a rematch clause. We got a rematch clause. We normally don't use them because we don't need them. Because nine, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, we uh we stop our competition. You know, you 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 saw what it is. You saw what it is. 
You saw what you you, you saw how fast them hands was. Them, I mean them paws. You saw how fast them paws was. And it was fighting in the pocket. We fight in the pocket too. We got a better inside fight game than Fundora. Uh shout out to in my in my opinion. He said, damn right. He said Nello gets his bag in advance. Cool bro Curry, he said he said PBC place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying we need to, you know, we 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 need to we need to make that fight happen. Uh he, he said key hippie they're free agent. <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying though, 80% go to us. We the A side. 80% go to us. That's all I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? You know, hey, listen, I, another thing too, right? Another thing too. I want to, I want to, I want to, shout out to my sister, Food Revolution. Shout out, shout out to Food Revolution. All I'm saying to this here, this all I'm saying. Y'all got to be thankful because this is church Sundays. You guys have to be thankful. A lot of, a, a lot of you Wakandas, when I met you, you was on coke. You was contemplating suicide. You didn't know what a good boxing channel was, right? You know, when I, when I found you, you was on the battle of depression. You see what I'm saying? I made you, I brought you back to big time YouTube boxing channels. I made you, <laughs> I'm the one showed you, I'm the one showed you what a good, I'm the one showed you what excitement is and how to fight in the pocket and all that there. I'm the one showed you what my favorite punch is, a check left hook is. Don't you ever forget what, 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 uh, what we did for you over here. Don't you ever forget that. You get what I'm saying? Shout out to, uh, shout out to, uh, hold on. Shout out to, uh, shout out to my sister, Bless 365. True, true. Shout out to Bless. True. I see you over there, Bless. I see you over there, Bless. He said, Coach, I'm scared of the rabbits. Hey, Jaime, you scared of the rabbits? You scared of the rabbits? <laughs> Jaime, you scared of the rabbits? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna have too much hand speed though. No. He said, damn, not the booger ray. He said, damn, not the booger sugar. That's all I'm saying, dog. That's all I'm saying. Don't ever forget. When I found you, you you were strong out on coke. When I found you, you was you was like a big house, contemplating about killing yourself. So don't you ever forget who brought you to big time box. I dug you back. I brought you back. I provided food and put food on your table for your family to eat. And I'm doing it for the second time. So you do, don't you ever forget that. <laughs> Y'all heard about dog. Y'all heard about dog. To this day. Really though, no. you are, you heard about dog. You just sit here, you don't know what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying, bless. That's all I'm saying. You know, <laughs> don't you ever forget. Don't you ever forget that there, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we got some good fights this weekend, man. You know, I'm going live. Food, hey, I'm going live for uh shit. I think I'm going live for two fights. Um, I think I'm going live for two fights. So of course we're gonna cover all of them, but uh you know, you got Katie Tate, not Katie Tate. You got Savannah Marshall, and we have uh, Carissa Shields, Alicia Baumgartner, and Michaela Meyer. I I'm so I'm so excited about that fight card, bro. I'm, bro, I'm really excited about that fight card. So we're going live for that off the off the ripple. We're going live for that, though. Off the ripple, we're going live for off, off of that one, though. For real, though. You get what I'm saying? Um, and then, of course, David Haney, David Haney, Cambosos fight. I don't know if some of these fights times are going to cross each other, and then Wilder Robert Halini's fight as well. I'm not. I'm not buying the pay per view. I'm not. I'm not going to buy that pay per view. I'm not going to buy that pay per view. I ain't going to lie, shit. I'm, I'm streaming that. I'm telling you off the rip. I, if, and, 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 until I, I ain't buying nothing on that side. I don't give a damn who fighting. If they, if they ain't bringing me Crawford and Spence, I'm, I'm stealing everything that ain't voted down. I'm just letting you know, man. For real though. Well, I respect your ambition, Willie, but you got to have vision. Now, I run every kind of bitch, every kind of place, and I know one thing. When it comes down on you, you either collectivize or you run like a solitary rat. Yeah, they better do some collectivizing, goddammit, because they don't collectivize, I don't buy. That's all I'm saying. And I and I got receipts. Well, I bought, I bought two of the pay-per-views this year so far. I bought two of them. I had the receipts in my email. You know what I mean? So that's all of them. They better collectivize. Uh, you ain't collectivizing, you know what I mean? And then, 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 then that's it. That's all I care. That, that's all I care about. That's all I care about. Shit. Uh, shout out, shout out to I am Dwayne. He said we need more Willie Dynamite. <laughs> I respect your ambition, Willie. <laughs> hey, you know I respect your ambition. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. He what you say? You said I'll buy a kangaroo fight. Before, hey, hey, guess what? Hey, hey, we, hey, we, uh, our fight's going to be action-packed. Our fight's going to be action-packed. You can believe that. It's going to be action-packed. You can believe that there, man. You know, there's a lot of hungry fighters out there that want to fight, dog. That's a lot of hungry fighters out there that want to fight. You see what I'm saying? 
and they hungry, dog, and they doing bad, and they 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 they, they broke. They ain't got no money, man, and they deserve a shot at the title. For real, though. Now I am the number one contender. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he want to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town and eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. Exactly. I'm just saying though, dog. It don't it don't it don't it don't it, it don't matter to me. It don't matter to me. We got we got to go ahead and, and make it do what he do. He say uh he said you have to collectivize. I respect your ambition, Billy, <laughs> but you got to have vision. <laughs> now I run every kind of bitch, every kind of, <laughs> and I know one thing. Hey, you know, bro, I was like, bro, he was so animated. Hey, he was so animated with it, dog. Yeah, he was so animated with it. He, he said, I watched one of them kangaroo battles. Uh, they look like they got, they got a different. <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, say I buy, I buy them all, but like you, I'm not buying another, um, another till, you know, you know, the bud. Yeah, I don't buy them all. I mean, I didn't buy, I didn't buy, um, I, I didn't buy, um, uh, Ortiz and, uh, Ruiz. That wasn't a pay-per-view fight. I didn't buy that. Um, I didn't buy, I didn't buy, um, Mario Barrios and Keith Thurman. I didn't buy that. And I didn't buy Ortiz and Charles Martin. I, I you know, you know, you know, those those are non pay per view fights. You're not gonna give me, you're not gonna piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. You know what I mean? So, uh, he said he's so animated talking to Willie because of that co because of that cocaine. Yeah, man. <laughs> you get what I'm saying though. You get what I'm saying though. So, you know, if it's a good fight, it's something I think that's worth buying. I buy it. I'm not gonna buy a pay per view just because you just because just because you put it on pay per view. You can say, you know what? Like you just you can't give me Carlos Adamas and give me Jamal Chalo and say that's going to be pay-per-view. I ain't buying that. That's a non-pay-per-view fight to me. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you give me a Jamal Chalo versus a David Benavidez and say that's pay-per-view, I'll buy that. I bought Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez. See what I'm saying? So I ain't buying it just because you put it on pay-per-view. You get what I'm saying? Shit, fuck that. You know, you're going to give me, you're going to shit, you know, and you, you get what I'm saying? And guess what? We got some monster fights happening next week. I'm going I'm to I'm tell you what they're going to have to do. See, this is the problem, right? A lot of those fighters, they, you know, I'm, I'm, a lot of those fighters, you know, they want to get paid a lot of money, right? And this is why you don't see the Adrian Broners fighting regular anymore because yesterday's price is not today's price. Yesterday they was making, yesterday they was getting paid, you know, three, four million dollars on a fight and this and that and yada, 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 blah, they squase. Okay, but yesterday's price is not today's price. The money you was making yesterday when 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 the, when the money was plentiful, it's, it's gone now, and now you got to try to make your money on the strength of the uh, on, on the strength of the uh, the pay per view, the upside of the pay per view, which they like to call the back end. It ain't there. The well is dry. The well is dry. So so instead of me paying you this three million dollars that you that you wanted to get paid, what I'm gonna do, baby boy, you gonna you you gonna have another fight. Uh, you gonna have a fight. Uh, a year from now, once a year or once every eighteen months, I get you back in there a year from year or so from now. So. You just sitting on the shelf like a you just sitting on the shelf like a broke rapper, like a rapper who gets signed to like me. Um, I got signed to a demo deal back in 2002 uh, with Atlantic Records. Uh, Craig Calman was the president of Atlantic Records, I think, at that time. Um, through and that was through that was through my manager by the name of Louis Martinet. He was a, um, a freestyle producer uh, back in the 80s from Miami, right? I got I got a demo deal, right? My um my uh. And, and, and it worked and, and it worked out through it worked out through through the production company of, of my manager at the time, Louis Martinet. Um, I got forty thousand guarantee. That's what he gave me. And got put on the shelf. Forty thousand. It was forty thousand to do. Uh, you know, you got to do do a demo. It was a demo deal. Anybody been in the music business around that time, you know what I'm talking. About. It was a demo deal. Um, sat on the shelf. Uh, they ain't do shit. Like literally, so you got fighters that just sitting on the shelf. You get what I'm saying? And if you're living a certain lifestyle, let's say you're living a, let's say you got paid a million dollars for a fight or a million and a half dollars for a fight. And you would promise 
to get something extra on the strength of the sales of your pay-per-view, what they like to call the back end. All right. You, some of those fighters, they should get something because, as a matter of fact, let me, show, let me show you this. They should get something because a lot of these fighters, they, you know, some of them ain't making the money like that, but hold on. Let me show you something. Do I have that? Like, you get paid a million and a half dollars after expenses. You got to see what you have left after expenses, right? You got to live, yo, you can't be living no $3 million lifestyle and you ain't made, you ain't got that kind of money in the bank. Like, whenever you have money like that, you're supposed to live at least off like maybe a, a third, a quarter of what you earn. Something like that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you something. Let me show y'all something. That's Timothy Bradley right there. Let me move this over here. Hold on, guys. Let me move. Okay, there you go right there. Let me move this over here. You see what I'm saying? So he said, You he said you still collected that 40? That 40? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the 40. I got the 40. Yeah, I got the 40. I got the 40. Absolutely. It, it, was, it, was, it was in advance. It was in advance on, on future projects. Um, it was a demo deal, though. I had, I had a demo deal. I got the 40. Definitely got that. Lewis, Lewis did that for me. Now he damn so did that. He said, That's why I love Crawford. It was it was a guarantee. No, nah, it was a, it was a loan. It was it was a loan. It was an advance. It was an advance. It's like it was a loan. That's all it was. It was a loan. But they but they threw they, they threw them on the shelf. Then they then they let me go. So, uh, he said Crawford versus Drake, Trey Songz the pay per view. No, nah, no, nah, not really, not really. You get what I'm saying? So you can't so you can't sit back and like if you just spending money and living you living this lifestyle. But you're not fighting enough. The only way you're not now, unless you got other businesses and stuff like that, and so be it. But if your if your primary source of income is fighting, this is why I'm an advocate of hey man, instead of sitting around waiting on this one fighter, Canelo or whoever the case may be, dog, you other dudes should have been fighting each other, man. Keep your name buzzing, keep it out there, let everybody know, you know, your le your, your legacy. You could have beat Demetrius Andrade if you could have got him in the ring, or vice versa. You see what I'm saying? Um. Tell Al, look, man, I want to fight Triple G, man. Let me go across the street and fight Triple G. Like other fighters, you have to, like, 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 like Canelo, he had, had to come across the street to fight Caleb Plant. You get what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't just be one way. Like, we want to see the fights. VG said Crawford, Crawford lives a modest lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, he he, he, don't, yeah, he don't smoke, drink. He don't do none of that. Be out and partying in clubs, none of that. He don't do none of that. Like, he literally lives a fighter's lifestyle. Literally lives a fighter's lifestyle. You get what I'm saying? Let me show you this, though. Um, I didn't show y'all this. Hold on. Fundora. Now, this is the fight purse. Now, this is, uh, you can find this on um, CSAC as well. CSAC as well. Fundora, Fundora, Sebastian Fundora versus Carlos Ocampo um, purse payout. The 24-year-old light middleweight, the 24-year-old light middleweight boxer will be back in action. Sebastian Fundora upcoming fight confirmed and will take place with Carlos Ocampo. So we do know that happened, right? That already happened. They say um, the fight will be held at Home Depot Center in Carson, California. Uh, the interim junior middleweight title will be on the line. Fandora back in, uh, he said, back in boxing after April 2022. He dominated Erickson Lubin. Lubin. He did do that. So um, this is his second fight this year. Um, Fandora got paid $500,000. Pay-per-view sale, it said pay-per-view bonus, not reported. This fight was a non-pay-per-view fight. So... I don't know what kind of bonuses he would have got. Maybe he would have got a bonus if he would have stopped them. If you could, if you would have stopped them, we probably would have gave you, uh, 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 you know, a whole head cheese sandwich on the back end, or you know what I mean. Carlos Ocampo made two hundred and seventy-five thousand, right? So of course, you know, it ain't what you, it ain't what you, it ain't what you, it ain't what your gross is what you bring home. So what now? What they, what they brought home after making these purchases? I don't know. But this this wasn't a big fight. You see, the, the main event, the main event made the main event. Uh, it only costs uh, the PBC uh, 775000 for the main event. Now, to do the entire event together, who knows what the other people made on the undercard? Who knows what the undercard fighters made? But this is it right here. I'm going to say personal details regarding both boxers updated on their current boxing contracts or deals. This is where it comes from, right? Um It said the purse, it said the purse, money, de the purse money details regarding regarding uh, regarding to both boxers, updated 
based on their current boxing contracts or deals they sign with the promotions. Fondora will leave the arena with, uh, with guaranteed money, 500K, while his opponent on Compo leaves the arena with 275K. So this is guaranteed. That's good. Canelo wanted 40 million. <laughs> uh, official coverage fight. It's, uh, oh, oh, sorry about that. Official coverage rights for, for this boxing fight retain Showtime pay-per-view, which they, the fight wasn't on pay-per-view. Um, any changes regarding Fondora Ocampo purse, purse payouts based on pay-per-view bonuses uh, uh, and, and sponsorship may, may, later, uh, may later here. So they'll update it. So that's what they're saying is they'll go ahead and update it here, based on what they're saying. Um, the fight wasn't a pay-per-view fight, so you get what I'm saying? It wasn't on pay-per-view. So, you know, you know, I mean, this, 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 this was a low-budget fight. They probably put this fight together for a million and a half dollars, something like that. If that, uh, shout out to Carlos. He said, Coach, I never, I never wanted to see Carlos Ocampo or Juan Montiel again. PBC need to bring new fighters or make the fights we want to see. You know the crazy part about it? They, they, they'll sit back and say, all you got to do is throw a black fight in there with a Mexican, and all of Mexico and all of the, all of the Hispanics in America gonna get behind it and it's gonna make it big and blow it up. Guess what? That's not true. That's not true at all. If that was the case, we would have seen him screaming for uh, Ocampo last night. We would have seen him screaming for Andy Ruiz when he fought Luis Ortiz. We would have seen would have seen those phenomenal pay-per-view numbers uh, from Ortiz and, 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 and um, Ortiz and Andy Ruiz. Or, or, or uh, Andy Ruiz said he Mexican, right? Even though he was born in California, but he said he Mexican, right? Okay, so that's not true at all. You know, that, there's this myth that you know because you know. Hispanics get behind every Hispanic fighter in droves and it's going to put butts in seats. That ain't true at all. Gee, I ain't she. she. You get what I'm saying? He said, Coach, it looks like um, in order to keep your fighter relevant, you need to make uh, other fighters relevant. I mean, in order to keep your fighter relevant, right, and, and guess what? Uh, and guess what, G-Daddy, check this out. And the only way to make other fighters relevant, you're going to have to fight the other guys. Shout out to Carlos. He say facts, coach. Yeah, yeah, they, they sit back. They sit back and, you know what I mean? It, I mean, it's, it's one of the biggest lies ever told in boxing. Yeah, man, you know, you know, uh, we, 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 we put a black fighter in there with a Mexican fighter. It's, it's, it's going to put the butts in seats. That ain't true at all. Because the Mexican fighters didn't get behind um, Hugo Centeno Jr. They didn't get behind dog. On. Listen, if it's, a, if it's a Mexican fighter, I mean, they'll support him. You know what I mean? They'll clap for him and stuff like that. But if it's a fighter that's trash, they're going to let you know it's trash. Because the Hispanic fan base, they want to see good fights. They like they 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 know they know a puto when they see one. Oh, they puto right here, God. Oh, no. Yeah, well, I mean, all right, God. Well, I mean, we'll root for him, you know, because he's one of us. But, you know, you know, you know we're not going to come out in droves for him. You get what I'm saying? If the, if the dude ain't relevant, dog, they, they ain't checking for him like that. Pooja let him say, he said, Ocampo did good, can't hate. Yeah, he, he did the best he could. He did the best he could. Surprised he went through, went through, went through with trainer's instructions uh, just to get lit up, uh, just to let it rip. He said, luckily, he didn't get caught or even had or even had to go through and convince Jack Reese poor judgment. Oh, yeah, Jack Reese is, man, Jack Reese something else. Jack Reese something else. Nelly, what you say, fam? You from the town, huh? Hey, Nella, what'd you say, fam? He said, he, he say, uh, they think they blind, coach. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Shout out to Pugilism. He said, Jack Reese terrible if he stopped that fight. Yeah, Jack Reese don't normally do that, though, bro. He don't normally do that. I don't know why Jack Reese did that. He said, Ocampo might, Ocampo might have looked punch drunk at times, but he could have been playing possum. <laughs> who knows he said he was still swinging hey Ocampo was letting them bolos go now he was just swinging he was just swinging uh Cuba Curry he say um he said Pitbull versus Ryan would do numbers in um Mexican war hey do do the do the Mexicans accept Ryan Garcia though do 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 do, do the Mexicans hey, hey, hey do the Mexicans accept Ryan Garcia though? that's what I want to know I don't think they accept them. I think they look at Ryan Garcia like they looked at Oscar De La Hoya back in the day. Do, do they look, look look at him as a gringo? You know what I mean? I don't think they accept him. You know what I mean? Oscar De La Hoya used to come to the ring with the, with the American flag. Well, he fought in the Olympics. You know what I mean? He came to the ring with the American flag a couple of times. <laughs> I'm an American, they say. <laughs> he said, because the Mexican fan base have already been tricked by Canelo. Hey, no. <laughs> 
Hey, why you say that? Why you say that? Shout out to uh, JRG. The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy, Rick James? Hey, okay. For dropping that quarter of a bam dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over. Boy, boy. What'd you say, fam? You said you have to be a Mexican boxer that, that, that put in the work. Facts. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dog. Exactly. You listen to these dudes on YouTube. Yeah, man, you know, all you got to do, throw a Mexican in there and, 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 and with a black fighter because the black fighter don't sell. I mean, I'm like, come on, man. These are these are intelligent boxing fans as well, just like they're, they're, they're black uh, intelligent boxing fans. White intelligent boxing fans. It's about the quality. It's about the quality. Not necessarily where you're from, I mean that you know we'll get behind you you know because of that too, but it's about the quality, man. It do him, yeah, man. It's Hector, yeah, Hector, man. He, ah, oh, god, damn. you you just can't pick up, you just can't take a dude staggering out the bar and, and, and give him a Mexican flag because he Mexican. With well, you know the, the entire country and all the Hispanic uh, community in America gonna get behind him. No, that that's bullshit. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping. Sharp as razor blades. Hey, shout out to uh, you said I don't coach. I heard he had Mexican. What can they at? The can they, that's um, that's uh, that's uh, uh, that, 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 that's now you know, can they, can they is a diehard Ryan Garcia uh, fan. He's a, he like, like, he like, he love Ryan Garcia. I think, I think my dog can they, all jokes aside, I think can they got a post of Ryan Garcia in his life. I actually do cuss a little. Do you? Also, What's yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, man, you know, it got, it got to be the top guys. It got to be top guys and guys are putting in work. Now, what I will say this here, now Pitbull, Pitbull is, is, is you know, I, I, I like, I like Pitbull. Now he don't throw no jabs. He ain't got the best footwork in the world. Uh, but he throw them bolos. <laughs> Pitbull coming to Walla. He coming to Walla. When Pitbull step in the ring, he throwing bolos. He trying to put people to sleep. That's what Pitbull try to do. True, true, true. Pitbull ain't coming to play. He throwing bolos, boy. He throwing bolos, boy. He ain't even playing with it. He coming forward. He throwing bolos. I like Pitbulls now. I like Pitbulls. I like. I, I like. Hey, Pitbull better believe out of me. I remember when Tank. I remember when Tank and uh, Tank, uh, Tank, 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 Tank was gonna fight him. They did the press conference. Boy, dog, old Lena Ellaby was smiling and laughing. Lena Ellaby was like, um, as a matter of fact, let me see if I find that. I got to find that, dog. Boy, listen. Boy, that dog on Pitbull, boy. And guess what? They say Pitbull became a star. And I, don't know, I, I don't know how he became a star. He ain't selling out arenas or nothing like that. But they say he, he became a star. But when dog on Pitbull, when Pitbull fought Tank, and I, you know, y'all know me, I picked I pick Pitbull to get put to sleep. I said, man, Tank gonna knock this dude out. I'm going, I'm snapping on Leonard. I said, this is a cherry pick. Y'all always, y'all found a tomato king in the fight. I said all that, right? Man, goddamn Pitbull, man, Pitbull was letting them hands go, man. Man, Pitbull, Pitbull was letting them, hey, Pitbull was throwing them paws, man. I ain't never seen Tank get on the back foot like that. Tank, 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 now Tank did put on some, um, he put on some phenomenal footwork in that fight now. He did show, show the footwork in that fight. Let me, let, let me, let me see if I find, let me see if I find that. Yeah, cause Linda Ellaby and them was smiling. They were smiling, bro. I'm like, bro. I, and I, I'm going off. I'm looking at the video. I say, man, this is some bullshit, man. Let, let, let. They, they sitting here. He was like, yeah, you know, and um, and um, Isak Cruz. He, you know, no, he, he's, he's a tough, he's a tough competitor, and he's coming to fight. Tank sitting there smiling. Tank got his head tipped to the side, biting his nails. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show it to y'all because I want nobody thinking I'm making this up. I got, I have it right here. I have it right here. I have it right here. Where is that? Wait, I have it right here. I have it saved right here. I'm like, man, Lena, man, Lena need to come, Lena need to cut this out. But doggone pit bull made a believe out of me, boy. Hey, when, I, when that fight was over with, when that fight was over with, I listen, I had to apologize to pit bull. I apologized to his fans, and then I became a fan of him. He made a believe out of me, boy. He made a believe out of me. That's that's all I gotta say. Hold on. Well, I'm, I'm, hold on, God. Let me see, see can I find it. I have it. Let me see can I find it. God, damn, where the hell is all? Lena, Lena, where you at? Where you at, Lena? I could have did I pass it? Maybe I passed it. I could have passed it. Y'all go back and look at that, man, because I can't find it right now. Y'all go back and look at that. Well, I'm saying I'm saying with Tank, with Tank on in his lead up to fight um Esau, not, not Esau, Esau Cruz. Go look at go look at that. Go look at that interview. Go look at that in you know, hold on. Hold on, that's Leonard right there. I'm trying to find Booger Ray. Shout out to my dog Booger Ray. Shout out to Booger Ray. Shout out to Booger Ray. Y'all, 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 y'all know, y'all know, y'all know uh I rock with Booger Ray, man. Booger Ray. Oh, here you go right here. Here you go right here. I found it. I found it. Here you go right here. Hold on. Let me see what's up. I found it. 
I found the video. Jaza, what you say? Hosea, he said, uh, Hosea, he said, um, he said, feed, he said, feed Haney the pit bull. Let's go. Um, Haney, that, that, that fight ain't gonna happen because pit bull is on, um, he's, he's on that side of the street with, uh, uh, PBC. He's on that side of the street. So, you know, that ain't, that, that, that probably ain't gonna happen. He, he, on, he on that side of the street. So that probably ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? And then Devin Haney is on the difference. He's with top rank. That fight ain't gonna happen. Oh, I gotta say, 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 I gotta Here you go, hold on, hold on. Here you go, here you go, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> hold on, Brian Custer. Hold on, here you go, right here, hold on. I got to show y'all this, boy. Hey, listen, now, I'm, I'm do, now I want y'all to do me a favor. Try not to laugh. Try not to laugh when you see this now. Try not to laugh when you see this. Try not to laugh when you see this now. Hold on, bro, bro. Try not to laugh when you see this. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Try not to laugh. When you see this, do everything in your power to try not to laugh. This what made me mad. I was cursing Leonard Ellaby out. I say, man, this man here, man. Man, this man don't pick up a cherry. He don't want to, he don't want to find a tomato can. I said this man I went, no, nobody never heard, nobody never, nobody never heard of the dude. I said the man I went to find a tomato can. I see Tate with a smirk on his face. <laughs> it's, uh, Leonard, hey, you, you, you can tell when Leonard Ellaby be, be lying too. Hold on, I got it right here. You know I got the video right here. Hold on. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here you go right here. Um, for quite hold on, hold on. Here you go right here. You, you know, you know me. We're going to go back to 116. Here you go, right? Y'all check this out. I'm going to allow you the opportunity to ask those questions directly to both of those fighters. Um 116. All right. Now, check this out. Now, I want y'all to watch Leonard Ellaby. Now, you, now on, 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 on this video right here, you can see this. Leonard Ellaby and Tank. Leonard Ellaby and Tank, right? You got Esau Cruz. Now this, now I didn't know who to do. What I saw, I saw footage of Esau Cruz. I said, man, this man ain't got no footwork, really no head move. Man, Tango, not man, Tango. Put that dude to sleep. Wow, oh, wow. And you see Tom Brown right there. This is the white promoter that the PBC primarily uses, and this is Sean Givens. Sean Givens, I think he is Esau Cruz's promoter. I'm not sure. I think he's yeah, he represents Manny Pacquiao. So let, let, let's go right here. Let's go right here. I want, I want to show, hey, Janar, what did he say, fam? He said, Coach, remember that pit bull? It signed the Manny Pacquiao. Do you still think that it could be possible happening in the future? Um, Pacquiao has a good relationship with Bob as well. Um, Yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. That's a possibility, fam. I, you know, I have forgot all about that. Check this out. But first, let me bring in some people who help make and bring all of this together. Uh, let me start first with the CEO. Of Mayweather promotion. Let's check this out. Mr. Leonard Ellery. Let's check this out. Hey, Brian, thank you. Um, thank all the media for joining us today. Hey, go check um, this out. This is an exciting matchup with, um, again, the most exciting fighter in the world to my left, taking on Isak Cruz, <laughs> again, who's a tough, hard nosed, lightweight. He's a top 10 contender across the board with all the ratings. Um, <laughs> hey, did you see? Did you see? <laughs> Now you say you see now you saw Leonard go, take a goat. He was like, "Well, all the greatest." He's a top ten contender across the board, bro. The man wasn't even in the top ten nowhere. They they put they somehow Esau Cruz mysteriously became got in the top ten somehow. How I have no idea. But they but the, but that was the Esau Cruz. Now that was a cherry. Now that was a cherry. True, true, true. But boy, that shit, that shit almost, that shit almost backfired. Let's go back and hear it again. I want y'all to see my dog. Shout out to my dog Booger Ray. 
Shout out to my dog. But y'all, y'all know I rocks with Booger Ray now. You know I rocks with Booger Ray. That's my dog now. Y'all know me and Booger Ray down like two flat tires. We down like two flat tires now. That's my dog. That's my dog. I don't want nobody talking bad about my dog Booger Ray now. Here you go right here. Here you go right here. An exciting matchup with, um, again, the most exciting fighter in the world to my left, taking on Isak Cruz, again, who's a tough, hard-nosed, lightweight. He's a top 10 contender across the board. Here you go. With all the ratings. Um, he's <laughs> a very, very exciting young fighter himself. Um, uh -oh. And he's looking to come and knock Tank off his throne. Um, <laughs> the country of Mexico is riding very high. I'm off of the big Canelo win. But he made history. And there's a big opportunity for Cruz <laughs> to stand up for his country. And he's going to be looking to take Tank right on out. And I know... Tay put his hand down. Now look, hey Tay put his hand down and put the bite down. Hey Tay, hey soon. <laughs> Shout out to Tay. Shout out to Tay. But boy, it was it was funny, here, boy. Hey, it was funny. Boy, 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 boy. I say, boy, this nigga, I said this nigga full of shit. Boy, this nigga so full of shit right here. Uh. And but he made history, and there's a big opportunity for Cruz to stand up for his country, and he's gonna be looking to. Take Tank right on out. And I know for quite some time, um, I've been having my eye on him, talking with my good friend, Sean Gibbons, um, for quite some time. And I've had my eye on him really since the, uh, he fought on Tank's undercar. Tank got a um, smirk on his face. Before, me, in San Antonio. And I was he got a smirk no more. With the knockout that he had against Magdalena. And um, I had this conversation with Sean. And Sean was saying that look, 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 look. he's coming for your boy. Look a little. And I said, well, look. Look a smiling. He might get that opportunity one day down the road. But again, <laughs> Tank's always ready. He <laughs> stay ready so he ain't got to get ready. Okay. Hey, so I just wanted to show y'all that. I just wanted to show y'all that part right there. Now, you see the smirk. You see the smoke that was on Little Ellie's face now. You saw the smirk on his face. Get what? <laughs> hey, I was like, hey, I was doing, I was doing the same. I was like, man, come on, man. Hey, man, this man got this old garbage ass dude from Mexico, man. Talking about Aesop Cruz, the Mexican Mike Tyson. Man, oh, man hey, y'all remember anything leading up to that fight? I was snapping. I was going on. I said, man, Tank ain't fighting nobody. Man, they don't fight another. They don't fight man fighting another cherry. They don't found some dude. I ain't, ain't nobody never heard of this dude before. Well, and guess what? Well, for pit bull with the real deal. <laughs> true, true, true. Hey, now I'm gonna pit bull. Hey, her, 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 her. But I got the pit bull came to fight, boy. Hey, yeah, boy, that pit bull came. Yeah, shit. Hey, he, he, he buckled Tank a couple of times too. He said, "Remember, Coach, on uh, Tank damaged his hand in the field and still won." No, I, I know, hey, Rick, I know he won. I'm not. No, I'm not talking about the fight, Ricky. I'm not talking about the fight. I'm talking about. The lead up to the fight. I'm talking about the, the Leonard Ellaby and the smirk that was on his face. They looked at Pitbull as a Pitbull was a cherry pick, dog. I'm just gonna call it the way it is. Pitbull was a cherry pick. You saw Leonard Ellaby smirking, and um, he took it to took a deep breath. He gulped, he gulped, he took a deep swallow. Um, not take off his throne. Take turned his head and got a smirk on his face, started biting his nails. He knew what it was. They everybody knew what it was, Rick. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, you, I'm, I'm saying Leonard Ellaby. They, they had they had old cherry they had old cherry over there you know what I mean <laughs> goddamn pit pit turned out to be a tough ass cherry boy and I seen after the fight after when Tate beat him they say are you are you gonna give him uh, give pit boy a rematch he said hell no you know what I mean so yeah 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 but for sure though I just wanted to show you I just wanted to show you how Linda Ellaby was was full of it I you know I just just was full of it because he was trying to sell it to the fans he was trying to sell it to the fans. You know what I mean? Oh, Leonard Ellaby, Booger Ray. And this is why, hey, 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 check this out too. And this is why when you be asking them, you say, hey, man, look, you know, because we know they got Tank. Now, Tank, Tank doing this thing. But when, they, when you sit back and ask them, you say, hey, man, look here, man. Uh, uh, how many how many stars you got over there? We know you got Tank Davis. And I see you taking a big goat. But how many stars you got over and, there? And who's the next big star under Mayweather Promotions? Ooh, we have a, a quite a few young guns, as I, I say. You know, um, and I don't want to leave any names out, but we have we have a, a great, great roster of young talent, and we've been very selective about what we're doing. You know, again, because when you when you have, you know, and, and 
abundance of fighters, it's hard to kind of focus on. When a big fight is to be made, it has to make sense for both sides. No promoter or company is going to put their guy in an event with everything to lose and nothing to gain, especially when we talk about this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Interesting. Um, yes, sir. Tay said, Coach, do you want to see uh, Adamus doing this? I want, I, want, I, want, I want Adamus to fight uh, Jamal Tallo. I want Adamus to fight, uh, I want him to fight Jamal Tallo. He needs to, uh, he needs to get a shot at the title. He's a mandatory. He's, he's the WBC intern champion. He deserves a shot. He said Pitbull been on the cherry run uh, since then, though. Yeah, yeah, Pit, Pit, yeah, Pitbull been on the cherry run. He been on the cherry run since then. Yeah, uh, Kane, cause we, cause we, we do know Ryan Garcia ducked Pitbull Cruz. We know Ryan Garcia ducked the Mexican Mike Tyson. We know that. We know he ducked the Mexican Mike Tyson. Facts. You know, I ain't got to say, I just got to say it with conviction. Facts. If I, if I do that, that means it's facts. That, that means it's true. You know, some channels you go to, you know what I mean? We do know that Ryan Garcia ducked Pitbull, the Mexican Mike Tyson. Facts. We know that. Um, he not, now, Pitbull ain't got no jab now. He don't know what a jab is, but, you know, we, we know Ryan Garcia ducked. Who do you think he is? DJ Quick? No, huh? No, King Capri? I didn't say that. Huh? Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. Well, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you. This say you do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut the fuck. Don't say that. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. I just want money. You know, I just say. Blue, if I raise up, going to be trouble. Trouble. I'm walking off. All I'm saying, Kane, is Ryan Garcia duck Pitbull. Facts. <laughs> what about Rocky Marciano? Oh, there they go. There they go. Every time I start talking about boxing, a white man got to pull Rocky Marciano out their ass. That's the one. That's the one. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. Let me tell you something wonderful. Rocky Marciano was good. But compared to Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano ain't shit. He bit Joe Lewis's ass. That's all I'm saying, dog. That's all I'm saying. So hey, hey, some dudes want to smoke. And some dudes stay some dudes to stay away from the smoke. That's all I I'm move up in weight class, go up to 168, challenge <laughs> this man for all the marbles. The Mexican mo monster, yeah. The Mexican you keep throwing that up every time I yeah, remember the guy was everybody scared of that guy. You talk a lot of shit. That's all I wanted to say <laughs> Can they, man, you my dog now, but boy, it's, it's, it's a known fact, dog on the uh that, that, that all over the internet. It's a, it's a it's a known fact. Everybody know it. Everybody know it that uh Ryan Garcia dunked Pitbull. We know that. We know that. I know you said that Pitbull, I know you said Ryan wanted to smoke, but I ain't trying to shut that soft ass and shit the best, up. And the best man shut that soft that's some soft ass shit. Shut that soft ass shit up. All that soft talking. I know you can do it, man. You got the you got the man, shut that soft ass shit up. <laughs> yeah, you ran for the Mexican boss, bro. Yeah, 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 that's all I'm saying, dog. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? And guess what? And if he didn't run from him, that's just what we gonna say. We just, we gonna we gonna stick there. He said, "Well, hey, hey, could they say?" He said, "That that's a Wakanda narrative." <laughs> true, true. Hey, true. could they say that's a Wakanda narrative? I'm the group. I'm the best thing ever happened to this damn group. Nobody's bigger than the group. <sighs> Y'all ain't stupid. I'm the one selling the records. They coming to see me. They coming to see the temptations. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Hey, that's all I'm saying. Hey, the what the brother say, the brother say, Coach Cunner receipts. Now I ain't got no receipts that he dumped. Well, I don't need no receipts. Just take my word for it. Facts. <laughs> we just gonna put that out there. Facts. Facts. You know what I mean? Now sources say, sources say. I don't know how true this is now. Sources say. Sources say that. Uh uh, what my dog, what my dog can they? I don't know how true this is now. You my dog, you know I rock with you now. Sources say this is gonna be Ryan Garcia. Okay, now, show us something. Oh, shit. Slow down. Killer instinct. I don't know now. Hey, hey listen. Connect now. That dude right there now. Uh, Billy, that, that look like Billy Bob. Billy Bob look like he got them hands now. You know, you know I think I, I don't think Ryan Garcia want none of that smoke right there. He said he throws better. <laughs> I, know, I said he throws better than no copper. <laughs> How you say tell him, coach? <laughs> hey, Jerry E say boxing news is the source that says Pitbull duck the Garcia fight. Well, Boxing News 24 is a, is a pro. Boxing News 24 is, is, um, is, is a PBC um, website for the most part. 
Boxing News 24 is ran by it's ran by ran by the PBC. You get what I'm saying? You know, it's real ran by the PBC. Now I don't know why. Now I don't know why they would say that that Pitbull ducked him. I, I but I just don't believe that. I just don't believe that. I, you know, sources say, sources say, sources say that uh, you know, that that's gonna be right. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Could they? What you got to say about that, dog? What you got to say about that? Could they? What's up? <laughs> hey, he said, Coach. He said, Cool, but Curry said, Coach. Pitbull. We eat Ryan Reels up uh, uh, like like dog food. Um, you know what? All jokes aside, dog on um, Ryan, Ryan Garcia can beat Pitbull. All he gotta do is just work his jab, work his jab. The, the problem gonna be is when he come on the inside, the check left hook that Ryan like to throw. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, damn, Pit Ryan's so tall and Pitbull. Yeah, you know what, dog? Ryan, Ryan, I, 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 I could potentially see maybe Ryan Garcia getting caught with that, getting caught with overhand right if you let him get on the inside. If you let him get, if you let him get close enough, I, I can see that happen. That's all I'm saying, dog. You know, now if you ask me to show receipts, uh, proof, verification that Ryan Garcia ducked Pitbull Cruz, I'm about to plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. It is what it is, man. I want to thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. That's all I'm saying, dog. I'm just, I'm just making a deal with it. Sunshine when tanks go. I'll smack the shit out in front of everybody. Only dark times for you. I mean, just throw Haney's name in the hat. There is no fucking hat. Ain't no sunshine when tanks go. I don't play them type of games. Leonard Ellaby. Why are you always talking about me? Did you fucking learn your lesson from that? With, with AJ? Ain't no sunshine when tanks gone. I'll knock that motherfucker the whole <laughs> out. Period. <laughs> Only dark times for you. There ain't no hats to throw nothing in here. You're running a fucking business. Ain't no sunshine when tanks gone. You fucking idiot. Leonard Ellaby. Why, Why are you always talking about me? Today, today, Sunday, man. I'm being nice today. Today, Sunday. I want to say a special prayer for Bacon. And I want you to hold on to God's unchanging hand because he helped Joshua fight the battle of Jericho. Yes. He helped Daniel get out the lines then. He helped Gilligan get off the island. Lord. And for all the tender owners in the chat, my sister, Food Revolution. Uh, uh, you know, Arlette, Lisa Bells, the Green Eyes P, all the tenant owners around the world, all of the lovers who are looking for a strong uh, uh, mandingo, you know what I mean, to be by your side. I introduce you to my good brother, Dr. Umar. And by the way, ladies, and I'm telling you the God's honest truth. By the way, ladies, I'm telling you the God's honest truth. By the way, ladies, I'm telling you the God's honest truth. I had a dream and spirit confirmed to me in the dream that I'm supposed to have two wives. And since it came to me in my dream, it is official and it is authentic. It was approved by the heavens. They will not be the same complexion because I don't want to be accused of being a light skinned supremacist or a dark skinned supremacist. Yes, sir. You know, we know we, we can't have them the same complexion now. They will not be the same complexion. Just want to let everybody know that, you know what I mean? And, and, and you know what? I want to start in this with this. First of all, I want to thank Al Haman before I thank God, Allah, Moses, Jesus, Buddha, Yahweh. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I, I want to thank him before I thank my mama. I want to thank Al Haman before I thank my daddy, before I thank my sister, my brother, my cousin Nim, my auntie Nim, my uncle Nim, the anonyms, synonyms, all of the Nims. I want to thank Al Haman before I thank. And I want to thank Al Haman for allowing me to wake up this morning and breathe, since that is the code that everyone uh, at the PBC must say before they say anything. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and thank Al Haman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to 
but, 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 but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah, I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. Is, the bro. names need to be but named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. <laughs> Yeah, man, you know what it is, it is what it is, man. They got to say their names, man. It is what it is. We're going to make it do what they do, baby. You feel me? It is what it is, man. I'm gonna see you guys. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, man. Three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know my motto. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.